<laughs> yeah. do, I, do I look fat in this dress? <laughs> the devil is looking sexy in the Guildford <laughs> podcast studio. Looking in bloody good nick, man, considering yeah. you're older than me and I'm 51. I'm 60. I'm Jesus. 60. You're black, don't crack, and I, and I, eat, <laughs> I eat healthy. Yeah. yeah. I read a lot of true crime books. Yeah. And, oh, man. Stephen's book just kept me awake at night. I couldn't put it down. Because I grew up, I went Liverpool Uni in the 80s. I was going into Toxteth to like little. Uh, we were at uni fl- together. Fl- fl- fledgling rave parties in some scrapyard in Toxteth. I remember Kirk- the scrapyard. Kirkham's. Yeah. Was that. Yeah, li- listen, Booby Sprat scrap- Scrapyard. I remember yeah. it well. I used to work the gate. Yeah. It was yeah. you who put the money in a plastic yeah. bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, listen. <laughs> talking, about, talking about working gates, I've got a cracking story for you yeah. about, about security work. Yeah. And it, it, it ties in nicely. Yeah, yeah, right with my political aspirations as 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 a, a, a British born black guy. In the time that we were at university that you're talking about, yeah, right, there was actually a colour bar on in the city centre. Yeah, right? And black lads couldn't go into the nightclubs. Yeah. So I had a, sec- a security firm with a lad called Andy Palmer. Andy Palmer's passed away now. Andy Palmer was an ABA boxing champion. Brian Schumacher was the 1984 Olympic boxing captain. Jimmy Price, another mixed race lad, yeah, right. He was a 1982 gold medalist. Andrew John, Stephen French, we were all athletes, we were all professional athletes and professional fighters that worked on that door. Yeah. We took the, we, it, it, it was a very lucrative contract, yeah, 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 right. So we took several doors over. But that was the, like like the, the jewel in the crown, yeah, right? Because it was in it was in the north end of the city, yeah, right, right, where you can't go, yeah, right. And me and my went there, yeah, yeah. So we're having lots and lots and lots of run-ins, but we're sorting out all the violence. We're having lots and lots of run-ins, and the man that was running the the north end at that time was a guy called Tom, Tommy Gilday. Yeah, yeah, Tommy's died now, yeah, right. But Tommy Gilday uh, 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 was old school. And he, he had that place on lockdown. And one night he came to the club. He came to the club. He, he rise, and he got kind of boisterous and he tried to get in. And Andrew had a fight with, with Tommy Gilday. And I had a fight with somebody called White. A lad, a lad called White. Yeah, knocked him out with a left jab. Yeah, and Andrew was, Andrew was doing Tommy Gilday. Andy Palmer was very worried about... Tommy Gilday, because Tom, Tommy Gilday was next level violence. Andy Palmer was a, was a boxer, yeah, right. But he didn't like serious guns or, or choppers. He didn't like that type of violence. So he's run out and he's pulled Andrew off of Tommy Gilday because he's worried about Tommy Gilday when Andrew was going to defeat this guy and this guy had never been defeated. Anyway, Tommy Gilday gets back up and he says, "We'll be back. We'll be back." Yeah. So. It's a Thursday evening, yeah, right? And I've asked, I've asked, I'm working for Mecca Northwest. Mecca Northwest owned the Grafton at that time. Of oh, the Grafton, the Graf- yeah, yeah. Grafton, Granny yeah, yeah. Mate, the Grafton. Listen, 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 <laughs> listen. 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 <laughs> uh, uh, um, there was doing 2,000 people Friday and Saturday night, yeah, yeah, a five and a head. They were making a fortune. Meanwhile, man, used to go yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were making a fortune in the Grafton. So anyway, the, the, he says he's going to come back. So the casino's around the corner, the casino was around the corner, and the young lads, that I used to post young lads, look out on the corners to watch if anybody's coming, to run in and say, look, they're coming. So the two young lookouts come. One of the lookouts was a kid called Danny. He'd be a big man now. So Danny comes and sees me, he says, Frenchy, Frenchy, there's hundreds of them, cars and vans and cars and vans. Now, what had happened is there'd been a, a call-out somewhere, yeah, right, and one call-out group had met another call-out group yeah, and he said, let's go and sort the at the Grafton. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Now, I'd had words with um, would make a leisure to put 10 men on. They wouldn't let me put 10 men on. I had six men on. The men I've just named to you. Yeah, you right. So I told the kids to go home and we chained the door shut. Yeah, we chained the door shut. There's a little tiny slit, slit little tiny glass slit in it. Yeah, yeah, right. Tommy, Tommy Gilday comes like, 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 um, um, 
Jack in the Shining breaks that little slit window and his chopper's coming fucking through the wick. He's rigging his chopper and he's whack, he's, he's, whack, he's whacking the chains. He's whacking the chains yeah, and he's getting the chains off. Yeah, and the six of us, yeah, right. And I'd say, I'd say on a rough estimate, yeah, there's about 300 guys outside. Yeah, yeah. But they made the mistake of bringing Billy Cubs, iron bars and knives to a gunfight. Yeah, yeah, and 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 my trusty 1940 World War II Luger. Yeah, yeah, someone fired a shot. Yeah, yeah, fired a shot over Tommy's head. Yeah, 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 right. As the chains come off, with the sound of the gun, yeah, yeah, right, 300 men took off up, up, up West Derby Road. Yeah, yeah, right. Me and Andrew John are chasing after three, 300 men, just two of us, yeah, Eh, 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 eh. We we lug it in hand, yeah, yeah. Shouting, come back, come back, come back. Sad crew, sad crew. Now, those who were there know that happened, yeah. Those who worked on the door with me knows that happened. Those who were inside the club knows that happened. Yeah, yeah, right. The upshot of it was, eh, um, there's another famous black doorman called Sunshine. And there's a film, about, he's got a brother called Tommy Smith. And Tommy Smith, yeah, yeah, organised a powwow in Sir Howard Way in Toxteth. Yeah, and uh, Tommy a good day come with, with one of his compadres. And I went without Andrew, one of my compadres, and we sorted it all out. And and, and ended up, uh, uh, he ended up uh, uh, dealing heroin to Andrew. Yeah, you're right. And we made a lot of money with him. And any time he was going to throw us off the club, he turned up, make a bit of noise, and they keep us on the door for longer. Yeah, so... It ended up being a, a, a mutual respect, but that's a true story with regards to the colour bar in, in, in Liverpool, yeah? Me taking the doors over, yeah, yeah right? And, and six of us, yeah, yeah, were like the 300 Spartans. <laughs> we were that outnumbered, mate. You understand? But we won, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can try and guess who Leonidas is. That would be me, yeah, yeah right? Because to, to, to today... I did a podcast with um, James English, yeah, and on that podcast, I answered all the negative questions about myself, yeah, right, right, with regards to me being a police informer, a grass, a rapist, a child molester, and whatever other false labels that they wanted to put on me. I've put that, I've put my answer out, out, out to that, yeah, and as a result of the podcast, yeah, right, the, the stats are in, I've done 3,000 views in a month. Three, yeah, 300,000. Yeah, 300,000 views in a month with 3,000 likes, yeah, and, and, and 600 dislikes. So the ratio of likes to dislikes is five to one. I'll take them odds all day long. It means I've got more love out there than I've got hate. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Forget about the negative comments, you're right, because I learned, I learned from Jamie Foxx, don't read the comments because the comments will just set you off. Now, the comments are... are are populated by no marks and skid marks, yeah? Uh, 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 uh. A lot of them are racist. A lot of the stuff that's aimed at me is because I'm a slick You understand? Yeah, and when I say n I mean naturally intelligent. God's gangster acolytes. I'm a gangster for God. I've reclaimed that word, yeah? And I'm naturally intelligent. And I'm God's gangster acolytes, and I don't give a fuck what anyone says about it or what anybody wants to do about it. That's who I am, and that's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. I believe in God. Yeah, right. But I'm not a singing and dancing Christian. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, they're my brothers and sisters that are singing and dancing in church. Yeah, yeah. I'm a soldier. Yeah, I'm ready to. I'm ready for the war. You understand? That's the type of person that I am. So today is is I will give the flavor for the American audience that doesn't really know who who the devil is. You're right, because that's who I am. That was what my name is, yeah, right? And how I've morphed from the devil, yeah, right, to the fighting preacher. Somebody sent me a message and said, stop giving yourself all rid ridiculous names. Your name's Stephen. I give myself any name I want. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Because I don't listen to the naysayers, yeah, right? Now, I've wedded a storm that would have killed most people. Yeah. Yeah, it, right. I, I also have, have, have known that Merseyside police want me dead. That's a bold statement, isn't it? It's a bold statement. 
Reading your book, there was one question on my mind that just ties into what you just said. Yeah. I was at the end of your book, I was like, how the fuck is this guy still alive? Okay. So so it's like this. Yeah, yeah, right. I've been shot. Yeah, right. I've been stabbed. Yeah, right. And I've been petrol bombed. I've been shot on my legs. I've been shot on my arms. I've been shot on my hand. I've had about seven attempts on my life. Yeah. Uh, 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 some of them, some of them have been Mickey Mouse, and some of them have been King Kong. Yeah, yeah, right. I believe uh, that God didn't pluck me out of the sea, out of the sea, for me to die on the beach. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, right. That's what I believe. I believe because when we were young, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah my 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 PIC, my partner in crime was Andrew John. Yeah, yeah, right. And uh, um, we were like. The craze on steroids. You understand? Yeah. And I don't say that disrespectfully. I just know what type of men we were. Yeah. And, and what we were capable of, what we were doing. Yeah. In, in Liverpool City. And we used to feed off each other. Yeah. We used to always. Eh, 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 he'd give me a look. I'd give, give him a look. Yeah. Right. Right. So it was. It was. That relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What really. It de developed, de defined who I was. Yeah, yeah, right. One time, we're in Blackpool. I'm eighteen. I'm nineteen. He's seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, yeah right. And we we meet. We're on we're on the pier, and there's a gypsy woman. Yeah, yeah, right. And we say, will you read our palms? And I, and she refused. She wouldn't re read our palms. She goes, too much darkness around us. Yeah, she wouldn't read our palms. So anyway, we persuaded her by giving her more money. Yeah, and basically, she told us one of us wasn't going to survive. She said, one of you, she says, I don't know which one it is, but one of you ain't going to make it. Yeah, yeah. Now, the interesting thing is, is Andrew was murdered on the 8th of June, 1991. Yeah, shot dead on Granby Street outside my restaurant. Yeah. And I was, I was in Wormwood Scrubs. Yeah, yeah. On a blackmail charge. Yeah. The kid that killed Andrew, had more reason to kill me. Yeah, yeah. And the reason why I had more reason to kill me, yeah, yeah, right. My crew was me, Andrew, yeah, and a lad called a, a Mojido Sefier, yeah, yeah, right. And we had a loose association with the Solid Gold Posse. The Solid Gold Posse was run by a, a, a guy who was streets and streets ahead of everybody else when it comes to pl planning crimes. A guy called Eugene Weaver, dark-skinned Eugene Weaver, good-looking black guy, yeah, right, right, that was my friend, yeah, right, and he was the leader of the Solid Gold Posse, and he used to bring us in every now and again, yeah, as muscle to do work with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, as you know, yeah, 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 when you start off a career in drugs, yeah, yeah, Back then, yeah, right, the kitty was funded by bank robberies. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, there would be some bank robberies. Yeah, yeah. And rather than just whack the money out, you put it in a kitty, yeah, yeah, right, and you go off to Holland and buy something. Yeah, yeah. Pay some transport, get it in, yeah, right, and you trip on your money. That's what it was about. But you needed, you needed, pff, beginning of the 80s, to, to, to be a player, you needed 50 grand to start off with. Yeah, you needed 50 quid, which is like about a quarter of a million quid now. Yeah, yeah right, right. To make any dent, to make a, a, any dent in what you're doing. Yeah, so, so, Mojit's the banker. Yeah, Mo Mojit's the banker. Yeah, uh, and the paper, the paperwork's not right. Yeah, the product's not right. The paperwork's not right. Yeah, somebody's getting high on their own supply. Yeah, yeah, right. So his girlfriend comes to see me. His girlfriend comes to see me and she says, he's licking crack. Yeah, yeah, right. So I go and see him. Yeah, right. And there's about, there's about 20 grand out of the kitty. So I said, you're going to have to put this 20 grand back in the kitty. He says, I can't do it, but I know where there's a dealer. Yeah, 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 right, right. And he left that type of money in the house. Yeah, yeah, right. Now, now, that was when I was full blown devil. And that was my game, yeah, yeah, yeah. Breaking, breaking the drug dealers' houses, yeah, and taking what they had. So I go with my accomplice, yeah, 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 right, and I break into this flat, yeah, right, and I search everywhere, but I can't find anything. 
Yeah, right. So it's not in there. So as a determined individual, what do you think I did? Grabbed him. No, I waited for him to come home. Mm. I waited for him to come home. Yeah. When he's coming through the door, yeah, it's the driver for the solid gold posse. It's Ricky Gainer. He's my friend. Yeah, yeah, you're right. This crackhead motherfucker that's been working with us has set me up now, right, right, to go and rob a kid that I know. Yeah. I grab him and I put him on the floor. Yeah, yeah, I've got a mask on. Yeah, I've got weapons. I grab him and I put him on the floor. As I grab him, because I'm just going to take off. If I can get out the door and he doesn't see me, it's all well and good. He pulls, he lifts up and he pulls my mask off. <laughs> and he goes, Frenchie! It's, what are you doing? Yeah, right. And out of panic, yeah, I smashed his face with a bat. Yeah, yeah, right. I smashed his face with a bat. Yeah, 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 right, right. And I left. Yeah, I left. He went to the hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I went looking for Majid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ended up on an attempted murder charge. Yeah, 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 right. Because I tried to kill him. Yeah. I run him over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I chopped him with a machete. Yeah, yeah. He got his hand up in, in, in the air. Yeah, yeah. Chopped him with a machete, allegedly. Yeah. And um, we, we we went to court. Hold her. Yeah, right. And, and, and I'll come back to the story about dickhead. Yeah, on there. Just, I'll just I'll come back to the story of dickhead. Let me finish off, 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 off this bit. So, now... Ricky, 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 I, I, I used to have a, a gold chain uh, and it come off in, 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 the, in the melee. He's got my gold chain and he's telling me, he's giving me gold chain to the police. If I don't give him two grand compensation for what's happened, yeah. I say, you, you, you can go and fuck yourself. Yeah. I've got an elder brother who's, who's, who's kind of, I was hot that he was kind of my, my conscience and he said to me, Give him the money, man. You've hit him in the face. Yeah, 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 right. You've ruined your fucking reputation. Everybody thinks you're trying to rob your own. Yeah, give him the two grand. Get your, your stuff back and leave it at that. Yeah, yeah. So, so I paid him. I paid him the two thousand pound. Got my chain, chain back. Yeah. Now, one day, Moji turns up at my door. Yeah. And he's saying to me, you rob Ricky, you rob Ricky. I said to him, I didn't rob Ricky. You told me it was somebody that I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I went in. And when I've tried to put Ricky on the floor to escape, he's pulled my mask off. I've panicked and I've hit him. Unbeknownst to me, Ricky's in the bushes, yeah, with a 45 Webley. Yeah, yeah. A, 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 a World War One gun that he used to shoot horses. Yeah, that's what he's got. Trained on me. Yeah, yeah, and I say, I'll go and fuck yourself. I know it was Ricky. Yeah, I robbed him, blah, blah, blah. He's going to kill me. Yeah, he's going to, he's just going to open up on me. Yeah, yeah. He told me after because we had a conversation. So, so he, he then knows that I'm telling the truth because what I'm saying about putting him on the floor and trying to get off, he was there. He knew that's what happened. Yeah, right. I gave him a, I, I gave, I panicked and I gave him a lick. I paid him for that, lick. Yeah, yeah, right. And I explained that to him. Yeah, right. That I was just trying to get out, and you pulled my mask off, and I panicked, and I lashed you. Yeah, right. And he accepted that from me. Yeah, yeah. I came, I came down south. I was doing something. I came, came down south, and ended up locked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On on a, a blackmail charge. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, ended up locked up in a blackmail charge. Yeah, wearing with scrubs, sea wing. Yeah, got nicked on April Fool's Day, 1991, <laughs> in Houston Station, like a fool. But my mum comes and sees me, yeah, yeah, in the visiting room. And my mum, who's kind of psychic, yeah, has, co has caused so many things in my life, it's untrue. She goes, I'm glad you're in here, lad. Something terrible's going to happen. This was like f the beginning of June. Yeah, yeah, I've gone back. I'm, I'm, I'm like fucking real. I mean, mum's glad I'm in jail. My head's all battered. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Sunday morning. Yeah, Sunday morning. Slop out. And the news comes on, on the radio. Yeah, right. 
you used to have to have the shit buckets then. Yeah, we had a slot balls. So the news comes on the radio and it says, it says, man, man, and it was big news back then, 91, still big, big news, made, made the radio stations. Man shot to death in Toxtiff, Toxtiff man. My ears go up. Yeah, I'm thinking, I hope it's one of my enemies. Then they say it's Andrew John. Yeah, I'm in with one of the Adamses. Yeah, yeah, one of the one of the Adams' nep nephews is is my pad mate. And I says, that's my brother. That's my brother. He says, no, 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 it's not. I said, it's my brother. Next thing, the pad opens, it's the priest. Yeah, yeah. And the doctor. Yeah, yeah, right. Because you know it's gonna be a problem. Yeah, yeah, right. I think they wanted to give me the liquid kosh. So uh, uh, anyway. They, they confirm it, they confirm it, yeah, right? So I make a phone call, yeah, yeah, right? And I, they let me make a phone call, and I said, who did it? And it turns out to be Ricky, yeah? And Ricky killed him with the gun that I had trained on me. Mm. He killed him with the Webley, yeah? Shot him in the back four times, five times. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he died on the, he died in the, in, in the streets. So, so, and then people try to say, Andrew got killed because of me. Yeah, yeah, right. What happened with Andrew is because I gave Ricky £2,000 and Andrew was my friend and I was then in jail, he was saying to me, you got a cunt. What kind of fucking criminal are you telling Frenchie that if he doesn't give you fucking two grand, yeah, yeah, you're going to give his chain into the old bill? Why don't you just sort it out yourself? So Ricky gave him the money back. But then every time Andrew was broke, he was going to Ricky. You understand? And Ricky's dad was a Jamaican. Yeah, yeah. And, and his, his dad said to him, apparently his dad said to him, if you was in Jamaica, I'd just kill him. You understand? And that's what he did. Yeah, you're right. Now, I can talk about it without emotion at a moment, because it was 30 years ago. But that, that's a true story. And another prison story that, that, that you... Um, your American viewers might like, yeah, yeah, right. Is so I'm now I'm now in this L London jail. I'm a scouser in a London jail, yeah, yeah. And 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 my brother's my brother's being killed, yeah. So I cut a sock off, yeah, yeah, right. I make a black armband for myself, yeah. There's been this mix 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 race guy there, yeah, right. Who's been riding me, yeah, 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 since I got in the jail. But I knew the black man wasn't going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. So, so I was just keeping my head down. Yeah, ignoring any problems and just keeping my head down. Yeah, he he got he got that misconstrued that I was um, I was a weak person. Yeah, yeah. I got him by his two ankles and threw him off the force. You understand? Yeah, right. Both he landed broke both both his arms, and the real fellas in that jail, yeah, looked after me. There was a, there was a screw called. Mr. Sherwood, Mr. Sherwood, yeah, it might even be a governor not work there. He was riding me like fuck as well, yeah, right, over everything. I told one of the Adamses that I was in with, yeah, yeah, you're right, and something about a pub around by White City. There's a pub around by White City where where where, where in which Scrubs is, yeah, right. Two days later, Mr. I'm having a shave in 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 the pad, and um, Mr. Sherwood comes in and he says, Mr. French. I'm very, very sorry. You'll have no more problems from me. I didn't know who your friends were. Yeah, yeah. I now know who your friends are. And I'll leave you on. I said, get out. Don't let the door split you where the good Lord hit you. Yeah, get me <laughs> going piss off. But they did that for me. Yeah, right. Because I know a couple of them. You understand? And and because I was looking after their little nephew. Yeah, yeah. They did that for me and got that, 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 that guy off my back. That brings us to... Andrew's funeral. Yeah, yeah, right. And I've got to go and see the wing governor for permission to attend the funeral. So I go to the wing governor's offices. And when I come in, when I when I get in, yeah, yeah, I know I'm not going because the muftis are there. You know what the muftis are? Right, yeah, the muftis are there, yeah. So I, I already know that I'm not going. So I'm just trying to shuffle forward to get close to the governor. Yeah, 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 yeah right, right. So he says to me, French, since you've come into this jail, you've you've strutted around this jail like you own it. 
yeah and i've been waiting for an opportunity to take the wind out of your sails yeah and just went for him before he finished i just went for him but i only got my hands on the table it's going for him yeah and the muftis had me yeah yeah uh, um, that was the very first time i ever got knocked out he choked me out george floyd george floyded me yeah 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 but i came to when i came to yeah yeah i was in a straight jacket yeah yeah right um um a padded cell with a very small window yeah and 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 i heard this whistle <laughs> and that was mine and andrew's whistle <laughs> And I heard that whistle outside. Now, Sean, I don't know whether it was the drugs they gave me, the hiding they gave me, or it was my or, or it was my brother letting me know he was okay. But a calm came over me after that. Yeah. Two weeks later, yeah, yeah, with the the the, the African person that we were supposed to be blackmailing, we found out that he was he was involved in about twenty five arranged marriages, and their name was on every certificate. My 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 people found all the all the wedding certificates, sent them to them, and said, "Come to court, and we're, and we're giving these to the judge." Yeah, and was on a, I was on a, a hundred thousand pound, a hundred thousand pound bail at the old Bailey. They gave me a hundred grand bail. They, I was I got I got got out. I got judge in chambers. They give me we put me on a hundred grand bail. Eddie Amu from the real thing put up the bail for me. My, my wife's husband who's just passed away. Yeah. And um, there was a guy called Steve Comish. He was going to be my barrister. He says to me, "Plead guilty, plead guilty, plead guilty, plead guilty, plead guilty, and, and 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 I'll get you this and I'll get you that. You've got all these tape recorders and all this against you." He got fired straight away. Yeah, yeah. Then I got a Yorkshire fella, yeah, a Yorkshire barrister who, who wanted to have a fight, and he, he go in the court. We go in the court. They're saying, where's the person who, who where's the person who, who, who's the person that's being blackmailed? I said, I believe they're still in Africa. They've abandoned the children. Yeah, 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 right. And they're not coming back to this country. That's when I learned about getting arraigned. Yeah, yeah, right. Whenever you've got an offense, make sure that the arraign yeah, yeah, right, put you in the box and ask it if you're guilty or not guilty. Because then when you say you're not guilty, they can't charge me again. Even I said, I did it. Yeah, they can't charge me again. I didn't do it. I didn't blackmail anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but two days later, I'd actually, I'd actually flew down from Liverpool to London. Yeah, yeah, with my dad. My dad was going off to the West Indies. Yeah, and I was going to face a trial at the Old Bailey and answer, answer a hundred thousand pound bail. Yeah, I got a not guilty. Twenty seven hours later, I'm walking up the hill in Arima. Arima's a district in Trinidad. And my dad looking up the hill. I said, What happened, Frenchie? Me make it. Yeah. And I got off with that case. So they 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 uh, um, prison stories. Yeah, they they're my adventures in in prison. Then the 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 next the, with your mate, with your crime partner, your brother dying. Yeah. Didn't that make you want to rethink your occupation? Um The Gospel Truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the two events that made me stop were close together. Yeah. His death, yeah, yeah, and the birth of my first girl child at 94, 1994. Yeah, yeah, right, right. I was, I was, in, I was in London when I got the call that a mum had gone into labour. I did, I did Waltham Stowe to, to Oxford Street, yeah, yeah, in two hours, 10 minutes, yeah, yeah, one thirty all the way. Made it. M m m made it. And I see my daughter born. I held it in this hand. Yeah. And my prospects was mega rich, made a victim, or life in jail. If I didn't make some serious changes. Yeah. And and the wars were closing in on me, so I kind of I kind of gave up criminality, yeah, yeah, right, in the nineties, yeah, 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 right. Although I never, although I went to jail, yeah, 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 in two thirteen, that was because of the pressure that I've been taking, yeah, yeah, right, because I'm trying to live a straight life, and one of the reasons why I moved out to Liverpool. Okay, an excellent story. 
why I moved out to Liverpool. If you hear, if you listen to the punks and them, if you listen to the skid marks and them, they'll tell you that I was run out to Liverpool. Yeah, so so I've got so I've got I've got some stuff here to show you. Yeah, yeah, that I'll show you. Yeah, right, let me give you the story. So when I got out of jail after the rape stuff in in January two seventeen, I wrote the paper, um, institutional racism and malfeasance on Merseyside. Yeah, yeah, right. Because I've actually I'm actually taken to court, prison, probation, police. Prosecution and child services. I'm taking the five of them to court. These are the papers. I'm taking them five, five of them, five of them to court because of what they did to me in that case. Misfeasance is is the abuse of public office. Yeah, 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 right. And and under the regulatory bodies, yeah, the actions and the stuff that they're doing, they're not really allowed to do. Yeah, right. But they do it anyway because they get away with it. Yeah, yeah, you right. Um, 47 cases for rape kicked out in the first six weeks of 2018 because of CPS shenanigans, shenanigans over uh, 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 when, did he, when did he give you the papers was disclosure over disclosure irregularities with disclosure the, the, the Bureau of, of uh, Chief Constables yeah, say we get it too wrong. All the stats are there. Yeah, yeah right. The, the British criminal justice system is broken. Yeah, right. Yeah, uh, um, and and the stuff that they're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just railroading people. Yeah, right. Don't get me wrong. There's crime, and there's people that deserve to go to jail. But you get charged. You the the they're, they're no longer interested in justice. They're interested in conviction, and and a CPS will hold exculpatory evidence. You know what exculpatory evidence is? Yeah, that they'll, can be helpful to you. They'll hold that back and hide it, yeah, yeah, right, in order for you to get a guilty. Yeah, yeah. And remind me to talk to you about, about the TV program we're making with regards to that stuff. Yeah, 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 right, because there's a couple of announcements that I, that I, that I want to make it also. But to con con continue with, with the prison story, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, sorry, no, when I'm in prison, yeah, can you see that, Sean? Can you see that mark on the back of my head? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I'm in general population. Yeah, yeah. I don't go on the numbers. Yeah, the numbers is for nonces and snitches. Yeah. Every jail I was in, I'm in general population. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being who I am. Yeah. I arrived, very first time I arrived in Walton. 2.13, I lived in Walton. Two, the fucking doors were banging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was, it was go, going off. Yeah, yeah, right. B-wing, 250 men on the wing. Yeah, I come out I come out in the morning with me top off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any motherfucker in this jail, yeah, wants to have it with me, let's have it. Come and see me, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. You could have heard a fucking pin drop. <laughs> 250 men <laughs> fell silent. I was like, have you seen have you seen Brad Pitt in a um, in a um, in a in, 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 in Troy? Brad Pitt in, Is there anybody else? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All mm. these hard cases. They're all telling the screws when Frenchie gets an idiot, he's getting fucked. Yeah. Nine hours in the jail, I'm down a block. Yeah, yeah. Cause I've threatened the whole wing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it, 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 um, um, <laughs> French, French, she never comes out of his cell. Yeah, there's an officer, there's an officer in, 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 in Liverpool who's called Reedy and he's a boss table tennis player. Yeah, every day I used to go to the gym and play table tennis with Reedy. Yeah, I, it, 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 there's these stories that in jail I'm, I'm, I'm hiding from everybody. Yeah, yeah, right. The truth is, yeah, 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 right. They were all shit scared of me. You understand? Yeah, they give it all, they give it, they give it the big and the big and the big and the big and yeah, right. But when I'm standing in front of you in the flesh, it's a whole different ball game. Cell warriors. Yeah. Uh, 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 window warriors to call them. Yeah, so so fast forward to 215, I'm back in jail. Yeah, and there's a kid called, there's a kid called Roy Hockman. What a fucking tosser. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he, I've had a bigger shit than him. 
Yeah, I've, had, I've actually had the biggest shit in him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. So, so we're going on, the, we're going on courses, we're going on, 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 on work. Yeah, yeah. And somebody, I'm sitting, I'm falling asleep watching this thing, and somebody tosses a piece of paper at me. So I pick it up and I, I throw it in his face. Turns out it wasn't him that threw it, but I threw it in his face. So there's there's animosity between between him. him. He's running the jail. He's selling the spice in the jail. He's the daddy in the jail. But he's a prick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's about he's about thirty eight, something like that, and he's got all the twenty one year olds and twenty two year olds kissing his ass. Yeah, yeah, would impress them. Yeah, you would would impress them. So I'm 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 in the gym. Yeah, 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 yeah. lifting serious weight. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I'm in the gym. I'm doing the deadlift, and there's him and some other kid. Yeah, right. So they, they start but while, while I'm lifting the weight. doesn't know, I'll just drop it on his foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They start while I'm lifting the weight and the screw's watching me, yeah, yeah. So I said to him, listen, I don't want no trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want any, if you want to speak to me, come to me, Pat. So I get a, 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 a favourable write-up for that, yeah, because I was, wasn't going to do that. Because I'm not, I, I, when I was in prison on the rape, yeah, 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 there was, there was, a back order from the screws or from whoever it was, yeah, right, to get me to, to offend in prison. They knew the rape wasn't going anywhere. They wanted me to do something violence in jail. They just didn't want to let me out of prison, yeah, right? And I knew that I had to keep my head down. That's why I used to go in my part. I used to go to the gym and church, yeah? So so I've caught this cunt in, in the changing rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right? And I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the... Um, for it to empty, yeah, right, and the screws can't see in. And I'm going to punch his fucking head in. Yeah, 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 right. He's got, he hasn't got his shoes on. He puts his pants on, yeah, right. He's still soaking wet. He grabs his shirt, grabs his top, and runs out. <laughs> this is the stuff that I'm putting up with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is supposed to be this tough, tough, tough guy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so, so, uh, 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 um, they get, they get, uh, they get this red-headed kid who's, rela who's related to the Osus. The Osus are my people, yeah? So they get this red-headed kid, light-skinned red-headed kid, yeah, with a ginger afro, yeah? I christened him the coconut, yeah, right? He's the coconut, no, sorry, the bouncy, because he's brown on the outside and white in the middle, yeah, right? And he, 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 he's, because it was all based in racism, this. It was all Liverpool, lads from Liverpool, 12 lads from Liverpool that just didn't like You understand? So, and then they've got this, 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 Shock ice, yeah, yeah, to come to, to me pad when it's to, to me pad door. It comes to me pad door. I'm standing on me pad door, yeah, right. So he just gets zocked, yeah, he gets zocked. The screws come, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking Hockman does, does, does an offer him again, yeah, yeah, yeah. When it, when it, when I go down to the savory, yeah, 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 I just throw all the carrots over them, yeah, yeah, right. I throw all the carrots, I throw all the carrots over them. Then they come and they mufti me and they move me to a new wing. They move me to a new wing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm in church. I'm, I'm, I can't even remember where it was going because I've got black house over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, remember. Yeah, yeah. Right. Is is is. I kind of tuned in on the sock. Yeah, yeah. And I seen it coming that way and move me and it clipped me. Yeah. So as it's clipped me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I can take a shot. I haven't gone down. I've turned around, yeah, right. The lads took off, took off back into the jail. I've run after them, yeah, right. And the screws have jumped on me, yeah. The blood's popping out me, pour, pop pumping out my head, yeah. And they take me down to uh, the segregation unit, the strip cell, the strip cell with, 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 with the cameras in it, yeah, 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 right. And they say to me, Strip off, yeah. So if I've done something wrong, yeah, yeah, I strip off. I said, "Go fuck yourselves." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strip off. My head's bleeding. I need medical attention. Yeah, yeah. Take you're jumping on me. I've just been attacked. I'm the victim. Yeah. So so anyway, yeah, yeah. What was his name? Zero nine one. Anyway, it, it was his number. Yeah. So they just leap on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And and the, the train, the train go for the luggage. Yeah. An arm each, yeah, I won't get you by the neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're choking me, yeah, right? So I start to recite my Japanese poem as a mirrored surface reflects whatever stands before it. 
and the valley carries even the smallest of sound. So must the Karatika empty his mind of wickedness and selfishness in an attempt to act appropriately to anything he may encounter. I got about three words into it. <laughs> yeah. And he, cho- and, 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 and he choked me out. Cuts me clothes. I wakes up freezing cold. Lying in a pool of my own blood. Mm. Yeah, no clothes on. And I'm not right. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I know that I'm not right. I dips my hand in the blood and I write on the wall, big letters, my turn will come. Yeah, yeah. Nothing else. Yeah, right. Then they make me, I can't walk. They fuck me up. Then they make me hobble out for my food. Yeah, yeah. As I'm going, as I'm hop, 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 hobbling for my food, yeah, 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 right. The same screws that I've, I've done me in. Yeah, yeah, are, are there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, um, I'm just telling them, I said to them, you're a bunch of wankers. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if you think this is finished in in this in this place here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you've got me in this dungeon? You don't know what fucking. I'm, watch what happens to you. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, watch what I fucking do. One by one, they came and see me. One by one, they came and see me. When see, see, see. That was before the case got dropped. Yeah, everybody thought I was getting a guilty and I was going away forever. Then all of a sudden now, yeah, right. I'm getting out in fucking January. They all start coming and seeing me. Stephen, I was just doing my job, you know, and, you know, I said, one day you'll come home. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you'll come into your house, yeah, yeah, right. And I'll be on the ca- I'll be on the couch, yeah, right, with a mag light and two nasty and we'll be waiting for you. I wasn't going to do it. Just terrorising them. Yeah, yeah, just let them think, oh, I wasn't, I'm, I'm too smart for that. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm taking them to court. You understand? I'm taking them to civil court, yeah, and, 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 with the evidence I've got, and with the stuff that we're doing, yeah, right, it'll be allowed to court settlements. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. They will, they will, they will. They don't want me making making a clear and known the evidence that I've got on them. You understand? Yeah, right. Because my solicitors wrote for the CCTV. Yeah, yeah, right. Of, of the search cell the day after, told them not to destroy it. Yeah, it, it, um, the, the the campaign to to. To redress the balance started while I was in my cell. Yeah, yeah. So that was the second time that I ever got knocked out. That was in that was in, in um, the block. Yeah, the block. B, it was B wing. The block on the the, the jail. Every jail I went to, I ended up in the block. The, yeah, in Liverpool, there's, there's 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 a security governor called Governor Platt. Governor Platt is a twat. Yeah. And I'll tell you why Governor Platt's a twat. I wrote a poem about him. Yeah. This man. Yeah, 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 yeah. LP. Zero, zero, two, three, I think it is. Yeah, yeah, you're right. There's a kid called Sheppo over the cellar, over the, over, over the way from me, yeah. And I can see him through, through, through the, the gap. Yeah, yeah, right. They've gone in. Yeah, right. And they've muftied him. But I can see them muftying him. Yeah, right. They've kicked fuck out of them, stamped all over them, yeah, right. And I'm shouting out the window, come over here and do that to me. Come over here and do that to me. Little little did I know that they fucking would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But not there and then. Yeah, yeah. So, so I I put an application in to get out of his jail. Yeah, right. I want I went out of that jail. I put an application to get to get out of that jail. But they come to security movers on the last day. So we've had dinner. And I can hear dogs barking all morning. I'm thinking, why is the dogs barking? Never talk nothing of it. Yeah, right. Why is the bar- and I'm freezing cold down there? Even though it was um it was March, that was March, yeah. It was freezing cold. I had a tap a towel wrapped around my head. To keep my head warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got, I got caught with my kicks down. Yeah, right? Because all I heard was back of the cell, back of the cell, yeah, and a shield landing on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um I can still feel the pimples. Off his glove on the left hand side of my face, yeah, as they fucking whack me, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, um, security moved me, yeah, absolutely. The security moved me in the van naked. But why he got me out is I've been, I write all the time, I've been, I've been recording everything that I've seen, yeah, and I've, and I've been taking the numbers of everybody and taking what, they, what they've been doing, uh, uh, what they've been up to in the jail, yeah. And the gov- governor Platt wanted my, wanted my, um, uh, my property, so they moved me 
and left all my property. When you get moved and, 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 and your property isn't with you, it's a nightmare. You get me? It's a nightmare. And you've got to wait for your property to get up, get up with it. Yeah. They ended up having to send for it in, in a taxi because when I got to Preston, I refused to go in the cell. Yeah, yeah, I refused. I, I, and, and they didn't want to fight with me. Yeah, yeah, right. And I said, all I want is my gear. So the, the woman governor came and see me and she said, if we send for it in a taxi, will you, will you behave yourself? And I said, if you give me my gear, of course I'll behave myself. So I, I, I got my gear back because I had a pretty um, eventful time in prison. Yeah, right. And not from the inmates. Yeah, they, it was more to do with, with, with middle management, probation and the screws, right? Because on Merseyside, yeah, yeah, right, the establishments, they all work hand in hand, yeah, right? And from Joe Anderson, the mayor, right down the bench, yeah? Now, now, can I get in trouble for saying Joe Anderson's bench? Well, you tell me what you think, yeah? Uh, um, I, run, I run a project for the for homeless called Project 89K, yeah, where the housed and clothed 12 homeless people over the Christmas period 215 from January, from December 215 to January 215, uh, 216, yeah, in one of my places that I had food, clothes, everything. We had cracking Christmas dinner. We'd done fireworks. We had crack, cracking New Year's dinner. Yeah, 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 right. And it was called 89K, yeah, right, because that's the money that he misappropriates to pay for his, his legal fees when he changed jobs. He wanted to get paid on two jobs, yeah, and he took somebody to court, but he used council money to pay his um, his legal fees. Him and, and his chief executive do it in all kinds of hot water, then it just disappeared and got brushed under the carpet. Yeah, right? So the 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 malfeasance on Mersey's side is the way that they do business. Yeah, yeah, right? Because they were, they were ignoring me when I was writing to them. Yeah, yeah, right? So when I was living in North London, um, Emily Thornbury was my MP. I went to the surgery to see her. She, she, she uh, uh, wrote to them, and they started to take me serious. Yeah, right. And I've got, I've got a couple of cases in the Royal Court of Justice. I've got the prison in there, and, and, and the police in there. Yeah, yeah, right. And I'm not really interested in the money. Yeah, I'm interested in exposing what they did. Yeah, yeah right. But if they don't want me to go to court and do that, don't offer me chicken eye money. Don't offer me thirty thousand pounds after what you have done to me. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 um. I'm looking for an American settlement. Yeah, yeah. I want to be the first black guy to get a million quid out of them. Yeah, right. Whether they get it or not, who knows? But uh, but but I'm in that process, and here's the paperwork. Yeah, I'm in that process, and here's the paperwork. So, people are wondering, how on earth do you stand tall in GP with a rape charge? Real man. Yeah. First off, not only am I a real man. Yeah, right. I was innocent. Yeah, yeah. It would have been very easy for me to go on the numbers, yeah, 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 and and just wait till the case collapsed because it was a holding charge. I went in, I went in in January, and the trial was in Oct uh, October. Yeah, so people were coming in two months after me having the trials and going out. I knew it was a holding charge. I knew it wasn't going anywhere. Yeah, I, ne I never lost 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 faith in that. Yeah, now I was two two sixteen. I was fifty six. Yeah, I was fifty six. Yeah, 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 right. But you've got to remember, I'm English, British, European, and world kickboxing champion. My fighting record speaks for itself. Yeah, I've knocked 39 men out in street fights, competitions, and, and working on doors. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when I argue with somebody, I tell them that. I say, and if you want to be the fourth, fourth, step forward. Yeah, yeah, right, because, because I'm, I'm, 6'3", I'm 250 now, yeah, I weigh 250, yeah, and I know how to hit, yeah, and I know how to hit with, with bad intention, yeah, yeah, right, and if I hit you with either hand, yeah, yeah, right, on the face, it's over, it's over, I'm a heavyweight, you understand, yeah, and, and you, you know what happens with heavyweights and punches, so, and I also had that reputation for, for I was the devil, yeah, right, but I wasn't given that reputation, or I, I didn't, I didn't uh, 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 get the notoriety I've got by being a punk. You understand? Yeah, because everything I will tell you, yeah, you're right, can be verified as true. Yeah, everything that I, I, I say to you, like, like, look at look of 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 the doorman. Yeah, yeah, gold medal boxers, England captains, 
world champion fighters. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Fighting with guys that when they punch you, they do that. And the hands move them back before it goes forward. They just get jabbed. Yeah. It's we, we, Fighters call it fighting mugs. It's like fighting mugs. Yeah, right. A trained fighter with balls. Yeah. The man that stands in front of you just looks at it and gets relaxed. Yeah. Don't mess with him. He's going to hit you really hard. Yeah. So, so, and it was, it was, it was also, um, um, a demonstration of my macho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah, that, because, because apparently I was going to get fucked in prison. Yeah. All kinds was going to happen to me. Yeah, yeah. I did get whacked from behind off a two strike life. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's never getting out of prison. Who ran away to the screws. Yeah, yeah, right. Who the very next day in in healthcare had his arm, the same arm that he hit me with, yeah, ripped off at the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. Proper pulled through the railings and just twanged the other way. Yeah. So so that was my only real incident in prison. Yeah. Sorry. I've got to give props to one man. Yeah, I've got to give props to I've got to give props to a guy called Paul Wilson. Yeah. Paul Wilson, I robbed him when he was a lad, young lad of 19. I robbed about five keys of brown off him at gunpoint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrorised him. He was a kid. I was a big man. Terrorised him. Took his drugs off him. Yeah. And then I ended up at Risley. And he was kind of running the wing at Risley. And they've moved me to Risley, but they've put me on a wing with a bat. Six or seven geezers that I've robbed because they're trying to get me done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. They're trying to get me done. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, I, 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 I'll tell you how them, they were trying to get me done it, when they sent me to uh, 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 the nonsense jail. What's it called? It begins with a W. I can't remember the name of the jail. But anyway, so so Paul Wilson, yeah, calls me into his cell, closes the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His chest going. I can see his chest going. And he goes, you robbed me when I was a kid. I'm not a kid now. I'm a, I'm a man. You owe me an apology. So I, so I apologized to him. Yeah. I said, it was a different time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I regret some of the things that I did. Yeah, 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 right. But I respect what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've closed the door like a man. Yeah. And, you, and you're putting it, and you put it on me. Proper, proper, put it on me. Yeah, right. He's the only one. While I was in jail, that come in, took me in the pad, closed the door and said, let's have it, Frenchy. He's the only one. And I apologised to him, not because I was frightened of him, because it was the right thing to do. Then he got me a job. He was running the wing. He got me He got me a job on a savoury. Yeah, 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 right. right. And, and uh, uh, at Christmas, yeah, yeah, we had the most lovely Christmas pudding that he got in. Yeah, yeah, and um, we had drinks and, and he made it really nice. Yeah. And, and he gets called a snitch. He gets called all stuff. The police blackmailed him into prison. Yeah, said if you don't fucking plead guilty, yeah, we'll nick your beard. So, so I have respect for him. So in in my in my prison years, the three years prison, he was the only man that ever really put it on me, Paul Wilson from Everton. Yeah, yeah, and he put it on me because I robbed him when he was a kid. Yeah, and he demanded an apology off me. And he got one. Yeah, you're right. And it wasn't out of fear. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It was out of, it was the right thing to do. And we had an accord bordering on a friendship. You understand? An accord bordering on a, fr a friendship because that, that game, it's a weird game. Yeah, so I've, I, wanted to, I wanted to tell you about a, a Dickhead. Yeah, yeah, right. Now, as I told you, Ricky Gaynor killed Andrew John. Ricky Gaynor had, had to, to other people's minds, more reasons to kill me because I hit him with a bat. But me and Ricky sorted that out. Yeah. And I'm at Liverpool Magistrates Court and my, and my solicitor that I get is a guy called Richard Whitehead. If you, if you shorten Richard down, what you get? Dick. And if you shorten head down, what you get? White head. So he was a dickhead, and I'll tell you why he was a dickhead. Yeah? So 
I'm on an attempted murder charge. Yeah, mind you, he's been chopped on his neck. Yeah, he's got a big chop mark on his neck. He, he got his hand up. He's been chopped on. He's been chopped on his arm, and he's been run over. So they've said they've said it's attempted murder. Yeah, right. We're going, and we're going to be if, see if it's going to be sent over to the crown. Yeah, right. But we've got a grip of him. We've, we've all the lads have got a grip of him and explain to him. Look what you did. Look what you did. Look, look how you're acting because you're smoking crack and all that. And now you want to get one of the boys nicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to sort your head out. Yeah, you need to take your licks, sort your head out, and go in there and tell them that you don't want to carry on with the case. So he agrees to do that. So Richard White says to me, "No, no, we can't do that. We can't do that. They won't allow you to do that." Yeah, this is how I know the court system's fucked. Yeah, I said, they won't allow you to do that. You're sacked, I'll do it myself. Yeah, sack loads of them. When Listen, I've had one say to me, I don't work to orders, I work to instruction. I said, well, if you can't take my orders, you can't be my barrister. Yeah, right, right. Because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let you sell me out on some bogusness. Yeah, yeah, because they'll sell you out and go and play golf together. So and anyway, Modji goes in, tells the judge he doesn't want to carry on the case. Case is quashed. I come on to Richard Whitehead and I said to him, you are now officially a dickhead. Yeah, yeah. And every time I see him, put his head down and go, hello, dickhead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and true story. You understand? Yeah, yeah, right. Turns out, I found a few years later, it wasn't really about that. It was about getting the more, because then I was legally aided at that, at that stage. It was about getting a few more appearances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting 200 or 300 pounds for five or six, seven appearances. Not not worrying about, I'm on a murder charge, get me off it. Yeah, right. So that's when I moved and I found the best solicitor that I've ever had, a lad called Paolo Martini. Yeah. Paolo Martini worked for Cobbleys. And, and I was on the run. I was on the run. I was on the run for the guy that had allegedly been burnt with an iron. Had his, had his car took off him. Yeah, the people who took his car off him took it down south and traded it for the Lexus. I like Lexuses. Yeah, yeah, right, right. This guy, the drug dealer, he was a heroin dealer, he'd been bent with an iron. And, and uh, 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 my friend Darren Orcock, yeah, yeah, got seven years for it. Yeah, 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 right. He was arrested. Yeah, right. I just, I just got out of the Lexus, I seen him drive by the bank, he gets picked up. Yeah, yeah. I go on the run to Manchester. I'm on the run. I'm on the run. I'm living. I'm living in Rush Home, Daisy Bank Road. I was living in Daisy ba R Rush Home, Daisy Bank Road. Had a nice little flat there. Yeah, living under an assumed name. Yeah, yeah. And it, it come. It comes to me. Yeah, yeah. Right. That uh, I'm going to be on Crime Watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny Phillips, God rest his soul, comes to me and tells me he's going to be on on on, fine, on, on Crime Watch. Yeah, my mate, my mate Curtis Warren, he, he owed me, he owed me ten thousand pounds off something. Yeah, 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 right. And he, and I'd asked him for it while I was on the run, and he wouldn't pay me. So he fell out with, he fell out with Johnny. Yeah, 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 right. He fell out with Johnny, and Johnny come and found me in Manchester. Yeah, right. And started telling me where Curtis' stashes was. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Now. You can't keep my money. I don't give a fuck who you are. You can't keep my money. Yeah, you're right. And if you won't give me my money, I'll go where your money is and take it. Yeah, yeah. And there's, there's a lad called called MK. That's all I'll say. He'll know who he is. But uh, uh, MK blew us up. Yeah, blew, blew me and Johnny up to Curtis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I turned up with a, with a guy that I call a scorpion. It's in the book. I turned up with a guy called a scorpion. Yeah, yeah. Mick Hartley, one of the most one of the most top, top con men I've ever known. Yeah, yeah, right, right. And he's CID. Yeah, he's, he's gone on the door. He's going to get in. I'm in the, I'm in the bus, I'm in the car with me kit and me tools. Yeah, waiting for the door to get open and I'm going to go in and there's apparently the 750 grand in the loft. Yeah, right. I'm only going to take my 10,000 pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that I'm old. Yeah, and the lad, Ray Bell, a lad called Ray Bell and a lad called Lisa come running and announce, it's gone, Frenchy, it's gone. Ah, oh, we know all about it. Running down the road. They've run down the road 90 miles an hour. They tell everybody they chase me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, they've run down, down the road 90 miles an hour. That, that night, that's very nice, somebody knocks up my mother-in-law's and gives her £10,000. So I've got my money back. Yeah, yeah. So... 
jo- Johnny was what was the story I was telling you. Johnny Phillips in Manchester. Yeah. That was it. I'm on the run. He tells me I'm going to be on, on Crime Watch. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, it was, um, it was after, after Dave Young, just after Dave Young had been killed. Yeah, yeah, right. And Johnny was on charges for the, yeah, yeah, right. And there was a witness, there was a star witness, and I knew the star witness. Yeah, 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 right, right. And I said to him, you really don't want to get involved in that. Yeah, yeah, right. Because there's going to be other bodies. Yeah, right. You're going to go forward as a, as a witness. Yeah, right. Maybe the family want you to do. Yeah, right. I don't think you sh- should do it. And the deal was, he'd take care of the ice cream man in Kirby that got burnt with the iron. I'd take care of his case. He'd take care of my case for, for the ice cream man that got burnt, uh, burnt, burnt in Tingo, who was just going, going to the police. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, these drug dealers that go to the police, they, they amaze me. So anyway, he, 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 yeah, yeah. So, so, Johnny, Johnny, uh, uh, didn't keep his end of the bargain. Yeah, yeah. Johnny, what was the story I was telling? Johnny didn't keep his end of the bargain. Yeah. Crime watch. No, no, no. A crime watch. I'm on crime watch. Yeah, right. So I'm going to City Airport. Yeah, I'm flying out to City, City. I'm flying out to City Airport. I've got five. I'm, I'm going from City Airport, yeah, yeah, Stansted City Airport, to Rotterdam. Or what, I'm, I'm, I'm getting out the country. Yeah, and I've got, I've got a uh, five thousand pounds stuff down my balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm drinking champagne yeah, in, in the champagne lounge. Yeah, yeah, right. Gets on the fucking plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually ready. To, plane's getting ready to take off, and it's like a movie. Yeah, yeah. The big black guy getting taken off in handcuffs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the people looking at me. Yeah, yeah. Come back. Yeah, yeah. Now, when when the guy that got burnt with the iron, he got a, he got a, a BMW taken off him. Yeah, yeah. When that BMW was drove to London, yeah, yeah, somebody with a scar on the inside of their arm was the driver, got stopped off the police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they believe that somebody with the scar on the inside of their arm was me. So the, the lads have sent Paolo Martini in to see me. This is the first time I've seen him. So so he, he says, uh, I say, he says, who are you? He goes, I'm your solicitor. Your friends have sent me in. My name's Paolo Martini. I said, with a fucking name like that, you've got to be good, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. And it was the start of a great friendship. So anyway... He, t- he takes me to the thing, yo, and he says, he says, look, he says, they say you've got a scar on your arm from there to there. Yeah, yeah. All you've got to do is show them your forearm and you've got no scar there. You didn't declare. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, I've got a scar on this side of my arm. Yeah, it's not on that side of my arm. So I've showed them that side of my arm. He said to me, turn my arm over. He said, no, you say the scar's there. I don't have to turn me, sh- show my arm over. Yeah, right, that's it. Put my shirt back on. That's it. I said, what are you doing? It was civilized then, because not only did he let me go, yeah, yeah, I got me five grand back, yeah, yeah, and I offered Paolo some of the money, and he refused to take it. He said, "No, I can't, I, I, I can't do that." Yeah, yeah, right. And every case he's represented to me in, he's won. Yeah. Um, did other people you taxed try to kill you? Yeah, 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 yeah. L- l- listen, listen. Let me explain. Let me explain to you. Yeah, right, right. The drug world is a jungle. Yeah. It's an actual jungle, yeah, yeah, right? Patrolled by 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 jungle dwellers. Yeah? And there's a reason why lions don't hunt other lions. Yeah. There's a reason, yeah, why lions hunt the sick gazelle. Yeah, right. Now, when I say this, it makes me sound like a bully. Yeah, yeah, right. But I'm not a bully, because at the center of every bully. Yeah, 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 is a, is a coward, yeah. And I know because of the things I've done and the situations that I've got out of that I ain't no coward, yeah. Yeah, right. But I selected my victims, you understand? And I knew, I knew where, where there would be the least resistance. I also had a golden rule. Yeah, yeah. If you tax a man once, if you take something off a man once, yeah, and you, and you get out of his way, in two, three, four, five weeks, yeah, it begins to calm down. It begins to wear it. Yeah, yeah, right. 
he begins to realize it's not worth it. Yeah, right. And it, 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 you know, it's only money. Yeah, yeah, right. And th then the heat comes out of the situation. Because when I used to rob somebody, I used to just head for the hills. Yeah. So, so the golden rule was: don't tax the one man twice. Because if you tax him twice, he's going to think you're always going to be coming back for them. Yeah, right. And the proof of the pudding in that, yeah, right. And I don't mean this in a disrespectful way to my dead partner. Is he kept going back to the same guy? And the guy had no, 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 what else was the guy going to do? Yeah, and that's not me condoning him killing me, boy. Yeah, that's me just say, saying, saying, you didn't stick to our own rules. You understand? And our own rules was tax them once and find a new victim. Tax them once and find a new victim. Because a man will wear a shirt that doesn't fit for one day. But if you keep making him wear that shirt, yeah, eventually, yeah, yeah, he's going to do you with the scissors. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's been my experience. That's been my experience. So, I'm in a girlfriend's house. Yeah, I'm in a girlfriend's house. Yeah. And I'm, I'm doing cocaine with her. I'm doing cocaine with her. Yeah, yeah, right. And cocaine makes you paranoid. Yeah. So, it's getting time for me to leave. And I look out and I see a car outside in, in, in the car park. Blacked out, yeah, right. But seeing somebody like, like like a cigarette, like a spliff, so I knew somebody was waiting for me. Yeah, so I phones a taxi. I phones a taxi. Yeah, and a taxi comes comes and it pulls in right by the car. I open the window and I say, "I'll be out in five minutes, mate." And I shut the door. Yeah, yeah, shut the window. Yeah, and fuck off out the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sell them a dummy. But they realise it. And there's only one place I can go. I can only go into Princess Park. Yeah. And I seen them coming. Yeah, your eyes. Two of my oldest friends subdiffuse and misdirection. Yeah, yeah. One of them had a shotgun. The other one had a ha handgun. Yeah, right. These had come to kill me. You understand? Yeah. I've, I've, I've jumped out of their back window with me dick in my hand. You understand? Yeah, I've got nothing. Yeah, you're right. So I've took off. They've come and he's put. He, he, they've turned the lights on the plane on on, on on the grass and they've seen me. But I got in. I got in the pond. I put me put me coat on me on me like that, and I'm looking through. I'm looking through the uh, to to the button hole, and I just look like a rock. You understand? In in that kind of light, and they've gone across the bridge and they've gone past me. Yeah, yeah right. And they didn't catch me. Although no shots were fired. Yeah, yeah. I've had shots fired at me. Although no shots were fired, yeah, I believe that was the closest I came to getting killed. Yeah, because they they hadn't come to like pop some shots. They'd come to to do to do a job on me. Yeah, right. And they've been paid to do a job. Cause I've had money put on my life twice. I've had an Osman warning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um Sometime, 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 my, my daughter, yeah, my daughter was born. My daughter was born. There was a space of petrol bombings. The actual story is this. Somebody's gone to a nightclub. They've been refused by elite, elite doorman, elite doorman, North End doorman, white guys that hate niggas. Yeah, yeah, right. Not, no. Oh, oh, they gotta like us, or it's a problem. That's just that's their problem. They don't like black people. It's not my problem. It's your problem. Yeah. Somebody's gone to the club trying to get in. He can't get in. So he says he'll be back with Frenchie. He says I'll be back with Frenchie. That night, that doorman's kids get burned to death. And my name's in it. Yeah, my name's in it. Yeah, yeah, right, and and it's it, it's circulating that I've burnt these children. Yeah, then the guy is named Dave Smith. He has lost his mind because he's lost his children. So he starts he starts petrol bombing our crew's houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I used to park my Lexus down my street, not by my house. Yeah, yeah. So they thought I lived there. So they petrol bombed 
a house that's about nine houses away from mine first. The police didn't even tell me. The police knew, yeah, right? The police did, didn't even tell me, yeah, yeah, right? Kids are listening on, on, on the scanners and they're saying, eh, eh, male suspects making the way to Stephen French's house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Apprehend them on the way out, which means let them fucking do me. You understand? Yeah, not stop them. Appre try to apprehend, apprehend them on the way out. So anyway, the, the petrol bomb, the house, yeah, yeah, that, that, that I was in. Yeah, 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 right, right. The police come and see me. They give me an Osmo warning. I ask them, is it Mickey Mouse or is it a thing, yo? Then I do my own research and I find out it's this kid, this uh, Dave Smith. Dave Smith, and, and, and uh, uh, he's lost his children. So I get his phone number, I phone, I phone him up, and I say to him, I want to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you've sent some fucking people to, to me house to bear me house down. It's not to do with me, and we need to we, we need to, to sort this out. So he says, "I'll meet you on your own. I'll meet you. I'll meet you in a uh, British Home Stores because British Home Stores is camera to death. British Home Stores was open as camera to death." I said, "No, you bring you bring a second with you, and I'll bring a second with me." And I brought my brother, who's who's. Doesn't like any, and it doesn't like anybody messing with our family. Yeah. So I'm speaking. So I see this kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I first see him, and I see the size of him. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. One of my favorite films is King Arthur. Yeah, yeah. King Arthur and and and, and Clive Owen's King Arthur and the Saxon King. Just turn me back to him. Just give him me back. I said, follow me. Yeah, you're gonna do something. Do it to me back. He, he, um comes in and I explain to him, I say, listen, I've had it with you white geezers up my whole life. Whenever you have wanted to find me, yeah, yeah, I'll come and find you. I've been every part of the city, yeah, and I'd fight switches, yeah, yeah, right? Somebody's gone to the club, they've burnt your kids. Aren't you worried about your family and that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, no, no, Mike, I don't give a fuck. I said, well, I've got children. I'm going to make an allowance for what you did this time because because you, 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 your baby is, is dead. Yeah, right. And he's a good little fighter. Yeah, right. I said, You're a good little one. I'm a good big one. Yeah, right. I take it outside and kick it up and down the road. And I can say this live because he knows that's what got said to him. Yeah. Whatever, the, whatever way he wants to twist it, he knows that's what got said to him. But my words of iron rang true to him and, and, and he let it go. So you told him. I told you, you gave him a pass because what okay, happened? Listen, listen, listen. R -r right. I'd like to move away from war stories now. Yeah, right. I've, I've, I've give some prison flavor. I've give some of the charges that 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 I've been on. Yeah, right, right. But that was a different life. Yeah, that was a different life. Yeah, right. And it it took me it took me from 1994 when my daughter was born to now to get you the side. To be, to be to the side of that life, to be able to walk around with me flip flops on, yeah, and not be and not not have to be worried about what's happening, yeah. I wasn't supposed to make twenty five, yeah, yeah. I sit here in the seat before you, a sixty year old man. Can you believe that to look at me? <laughs> yeah. Do I look stressed or worried? No. Yeah. Right. Do I look look relaxed and happy? Yeah. Cause I am. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And um, what it what it is, yeah, you're right. Was and I'll, I'll finish with, with with a war story. This war story. If you listen to the skid marks and no marks, yeah, the racist haters that just cha 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 empty vessels that make the most noise. I got run out of Liverpool. I left Liverpool to get away from from being on probation with a probation officer. Yeah, right, right. That just wanted to recall me. Yeah, with police that wanted me to go to. A set place every every fuck every week. Yeah, yeah, right. When the when they had intelligence, yeah, right. That that a uh, uh, an OCG, you know, OCG, organized crime group. Yeah, yeah, right. W was plotting to kill me. Yeah, yeah, right. And firearms would be used. They had that intelligence. This is why I say Merseyside police want me dead because they wanted me in the one place at a, at a given time every week. Yeah, yeah. In this probation office with two lads had been shot coming out. You understand? Yeah, right, right. And at that time, it was it was a little bit difficult for me to let anybody know where I was or, or my position. A little bit like what um, Darren G's going through at the moment. Yeah, yeah, right. One of the reasons why Darren 
won't won't meet with me or, or speak with us is he can't trust anybody and i understand that because any call he gets you're you right could be a call to set him up you understand right because the the threats against his life are real there's real people trying to kill him you're you right i know you're right because i went through it 10 years ago yeah you're right we're, we're People are tracking you, yeah, right? right, and they've been paid to do stuff to you. You're yeah, right, and and uh, um, it takes its toll on you. Yeah, so I had I, I owned a five bedroom house on the Wirral. Yeah, right. That that uh, I used to rent house, and then it was empty because it got wrecked. Yeah, yeah, right, right. So I used to go and stay there when I came to Liverpool. Yeah. So I was up. I was up for. They always karate cinema. We have it every year to, to remember our martial arts master. We have an Anfield Sports Centre, and I, I was up to go to go and, uh, uh, train with my Kazuna, Kazuna brothers and uh, and pay my respects to to my dead master. And I'm lying on the couch and I hear crash, and I think not of it. Then I go in the kitchen and look at me. I look to the to the right of my utility room, and there's this geezer standing there. Yeah, right. So I've gone for him. Yeah, and he's he's flew out the window. Yeah, 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 right. All the windows smashed. Yeah, yeah, right. So I phoned up the board. People come up the board. People say you got to phone the police. The police come out and he, the the cop says to me, he says to me, the man got in the house. So I says, yeah, the man got in the house. He goes, do you think it's connected in any way? I said, I said I've been here for months. I said it's, it's the, the house has been empty. It's just an off chance. He's burgling it. It's it's no big deal. The very next day. 10 o'clock, but all the windows in the back went pow, 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 pow. Yeah, yeah, French windows go in, yeah, yeah, right. I looked, I looked through the, the, the blinds. There's about six geezers in, in, in the back garden. Yeah, yeah, right. Shouting pedo out, pedo out, because I'm supposed to be a pedo pedophile. Yeah, yeah. This is how I know I'm not a coward. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I got my trusty claw on me. Yeah, yeah. And I flew through the window. Yeah, yeah, right. Now the window, it's only enough for one for one person to come at a time. Yeah. When they see me in full flight coming at them, yeah, right, with with a fucking hammer in my hand like tall. Yeah, yeah. They took <laughs> off. They took off up the road. Yeah. My neighbor seen one and I chased six of them up the road. Yeah. I come back to my house and I smiled to me so when I said, although eh, 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 I'm having some problems with everything that's got going on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh, 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 my my valour and my courage under fire. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. And I laid down my hammer. Yeah. I bought it at the house and, 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 and sold it. Yeah, you're right. Then they got in when I wasn't there. Well, pedophile all over the walls. Yeah, yeah. Wrecked the place. Smashed all my trophies. Yeah, yeah. All my world championship trophies. Smashed. Just just totally wrecked the place. Anyway. Uh, uh, um, I, I, I sold it and I lost I lost about fifty grand on that house. Yeah, yeah, but uh, 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 because because of 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 the damage in it. Yeah, I was I just didn't want nothing to do with it. Yeah, right. No cunt, no cunt, run me out of Liverpool. I left. I came to my accountants. I'm going to my accountants. There's some kid in a car. He shouts, "Frenchy and nonce." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and before I know what I'm doing, sorry, no, Frenchie, you grassy shouted. Yeah, before I know what I'm doing, I'm backing me Mercedes and I'm chasing him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, now, 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 he's calling me a grass. Yeah, yeah, right. I've caught him at the lights. I've got out the car, yeah, right. And apparently when I'm in full flight, I'm quite frightening. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm in full flight. I'm going to rip the skis out of the car. You don't video, Frenchie. <laughs> you don't video. I'll show the police. <laughs> I look at him. I say, you've just called me a grass and you're videoing me to show the police. Yeah, you've got me like a maniac. And I just got in my car and drove back to, to my accountants. I've now, I've now come, to, I'm now at the point, yeah, yeah, right, where emotionally, yeah, 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 right, I don't bite that bullet anymore. Yeah, yeah, right. I've put out me, me James English podcast. I've answered all those questions. I've got all the, the answers. Yeah, right. I raped no bitch. Yeah. Uh, 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 um, I've raped no men. I've raped no child. Yeah, there's no no body that I've stood in the dock and gone. He did it to me, officer. 
or said it was him stop me from getting any any prison i've never had no no co accused i've gone to jail on me on my own yeah 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 right so so i've done that part yeah right i'm done with that and i'm done explaining with that yeah because there's certain people yeah, yeah that you'll never change what they think about yeah 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 they, they can just do that um but in, in, in saying that It was 1912, she was 12. So it was two, 2006. And I'm sitting, I'm sitting on the couch at home. And the news comes on. And it's this little black girl with a toothy grin. Exactly the same age as my daughter. With a, who's got, you know when you get them big teeth when they're at a certain age. And she's got this toothy grin. Camilla Pennington, her name was. You know Camilla Pennington. Mm -hmm. Camilla Pennington and 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 the kid. What what's the kid from from Anfield that got murdered? Oh, uh, from, from from Everton. Shit, I can't yeah. remember. I can't. You guys remember? Was it on the tra train tracks? No, no, that was that was that was little Jamie Bulger. Oh yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what's the kid's name? Can't remember. Anyway. He, 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 the kids supporter, that kid, yeah, yeah, and Camilla Pennington got killed six six months apart. What was the kid's name? Even if I think you offered him. I feel ashamed that I can't remember the kid's name. Yeah, it's famous case. Anyway, hey mum, I gone to a funeral and left a fifteen year old brother minding her. She was mining a gun for some thug. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. More social security. Most probably getting 50 or 40 pounds a week for mining this gun. Mm. The son finds it, is playing with it, and kills his sister. <sighs> and kills his sister. Yeah, yeah, Jeez. yeah. Mm. And when I seen that, yeah, 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 yeah right. Because it's, like, it's not like I don't care about white people. It's, it's, it's not that. Yeah, right. I'm pro black. Yeah, right? And I got a black daughter. That mm. affected me deeply. You yeah, understand? Yeah. That affected me deeply. And that's when I started the IPP, Increase the Peace Program. It's when I wrote the book. Yeah, right? It's why I, I, I wanted to make a, 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 a documentary. That's why I wanted to make a film to get the 25 million quid it did. Yeah, right? To build an a, a Andrew John Memorial Skill Center. Yeah, right? So we, can, so we can teach the young men a skill. Yeah, because not everybody's academically gifted. Yeah, a vocational skill so they can provide for themselves and their families. Yeah, yeah without being involved. L l l listen, the solutions have got to come from us. You understand? They've got to come from a, a, a grassroots level, and that's what I tried to do. Yeah, right. And I was, I was miles along. Yeah, right. In my Kazuna Increase the Peace program. Yeah, my patrons. Yeah, right. And I've sent you the photographs that you can flash these up. My patrons was was. Evander Holyfield. Time, yeah. time stamp this, James. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Ricky Hatton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd agreed to be involved. Yeah. I had all the champion fighters on Liverpool back of me. Yeah, yeah. It's a triple G thing. I was guest speaker at Liverpool University. I was guest speaker at Preston University. That's on, on the, the, the Danny Dyer programme. And I was flying along. Yeah, yeah, right. But then they threatened me. They threaten my family. Mm -hmm. They threaten the girls in my family. Yeah, yeah, right, right. And I'll send you the newspaper cutting with it where they say, yeah, and you can flash, I'd like you to flash that up, yeah, where they say, we'll kill you, we'll, we'll rape your wife and set your daughter on fire. Is that right? Yeah, it wasn't no businessman that got pis pistol whipped in the city centre. Yeah, yeah, right. Now, the American brothers will understand this. Yeah. I'd come to the end of my tether. Yeah, I was doing. I was. I was snorting too much coke. Yeah, yeah. I've got these punks snapping at my heels all the time. I'm trying to live this straight life. I'm trying to get this 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 charity off uh, off the ground. Yeah, right. And I pop wide open. Yeah, yeah. I've been to court. I've been for cortisone injections for my knees. I was on Valium, so I'm floating in town, and I've gone into Callan's. Yeah, right. Because I was going to behead this man. Understand. No, no, I'd got to that point where murder 
was a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> now, now it wasn't about because he trapped my daughter. It wasn't about it wasn't about finesse or getting away with it. It was about when I see it, I'm gonna hack it to fucking bits. Yeah, you're right. And and then whatever comes, whatever comes. That was where my state of mind was. And I've got the machete. I bought the machete. Then I'm looking down. Yeah, right. And all the time that that I've I've got the devil on this shoulder telling me just chop his fucking head off. Go into the police station, put his head on the counter, and say, now he's going to lock me up for something. You understand? Yeah, right. Go out in a blaze of glory. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 idiotic ideas like that I was having. Yeah, yeah. Then there's, there's a voice saying to me, thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. So I see the Seager. BB gun. That looks so much like a real piece, you won't believe it. Yeah, yeah. And it, I have moments, what I believe, of inspiration. And this, I decide to pistol whip him instead. Not kill him, pistol whip him instead. Long story short, he went to the hospital and I went to jail. Yeah, and he got pistol whipped. But when I was dumping my stuff, because I'd been on the TV, an off-duty copper saw me and marked the spot where, where the threw the sword and the, and the, 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 the piece in, into the river. Waited for the tide to go off, just went down and got it. Yeah, right. That was me finished. Yeah. That that and that was that was my first time. I knew I was fucked and I knew I was going to prison. Yeah, yeah. So I pleaded guilty, pleaded guilty to that. And I didn't mind that. Yeah, right. Because my daughters was my daughter was safe, my family was safe. Yeah. Um, 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 and I I went. When I've been doing the work that I do with the young guys, the only thing I could never tell them about was prison. Now I can tell them all about prison. Now I can tell them about the food, the slop out, the screws, the education. I can tell them everything. The only thing I don't know about prison is is a very long sentence. Yeah, I've done three years. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to like to do 10 years straight and how that will affect you. But anybody that says jail's easy and they can do, do, do jail spinning on the dick, yeah, is either a madman or a liar, yeah, right? Because your freedom's taken off you. You understand? Do you think then, because you did such extreme crimes, that what was it that got you through all that and not much prison, like just just outsmarting the system? Um, it's it's the eighties, it's the eighties, and it's the nineties. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah, right. And there's about ten percent of the CCTV that there is now. Yeah, they can track me now from here to, to Liverpool without losing me on camera. Yeah, it wasn't like that then. Yeah, it, 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 it was post the riots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Toxtif was a no go area. Yeah, yeah, right. I had the vitality and strength of a young man. Yeah, yeah, right. With the vitality and, and, and thinking patterns of a young man. Yeah, 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 right. And um, I was ultra fierce. Yeah, I was ultra fierce and I was pretty fearless. Yeah, you're right. And and although there were, although there were clashes with other serious people, yeah, 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 I never seemed to come off the worst. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and people died. You understand? People got maimed. People went to la went went to prison for life. Yeah. Now one of the things why people say. Well, he did all that stuff. He wrote that book. He must be a snitch because he never went to jail. I'm not a snitch because I wasn't dumb. You understand? I wasn't dumb. It's like, it's like I know a lad, he did something. He did a robbery. And he wouldn't throw his trainees away because he paid 100 not to quit for his trainees. He found fibers on his trainees. Yeah. And he got a five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was forensically aware. Everybody's forensically aware now. I was a forensically aware in the 80s. Before it was, before everybody was forensically aware, I knew what I was doing. Yeah. Then you've got to also understand the nature of the people that I was robbing. Yeah, you're right. Because the majority of them were criminals and couldn't go to the police. You understand? Yeah. They just had to do something back. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and you had a method in your book uh, where you had like a female. Yeah. To calm the, the listen, person listen, down. Listen. listen. I had a house of horrors, yeah, yeah, which was a very long hallway. Yeah, 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 right. And you'd have to come in the front door and look straight down the hallway. Yeah. And I'd just sit a bed with a big pair of joeys. 
yeah, yeah, sitting at the table, and all you're doing is coming in, looking at the joeys, and I'm in the, I'm in the alcove. Yeah, and as you go back, you just get, yeah, yeah, and it's all over. You understand? It's all over. So, so, there were, there was techniques, yeah, yeah, right? There was selection of victims. You didn't get greedy. Um, I was very greedy. But you won't go back to the same person. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen to this. Yeah, right, right. I, I was a greedy young man. Mm. You understand? Yeah, right. I don't make no, I don't make no excuses for the person that I was. You understand? Yeah, right. And I don't, don't one hundred percent say I'm a product of my environment. Yeah, yeah, right, right. And it's, it's, um, it's, it's all someone else's fault. I hold my hand up. And I take I take responsibility for my past. I say I've also and I've said this f on many many occasions. I spoke with this with uh, Russ Kemp, yeah, yeah, right, and I explained to him, yeah, 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 right, that that how can a, a skinny drug dealer ten stone stop a guy like me? He has to get himself an, an equalizer, yeah, right, right. Now I've got no no munitions factories. I've got no bullet factories. I've got no gun factories. But I take my responsibility for the explosion of firearms on Mersey side. You know, because people have to protect themselves from guys like me. When the cocaine and the crack cocaine kicked in, yeah, right, that's when the violence went off the chart. You understand? Yeah, because with cracks, exactly the same as America, yeah, with the, with the crack comes the extra violence, yeah. So, so, it was a lawless time, yeah, yeah, yeah. The police weren't as sophisticated then as, as, as they were now, yeah. Um, Tony, Tony Blair, and what was what was what was what was the other guy with him with him? Yeah, he was Gordon. The home, no, the home secretary. He was the home secretary for a while with him. But it wasn't Blunky. It'll come to it'll come to me in a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. He tampered with all the laws. Yeah, right. Because I've got an amazing uh, an amazing staff for you. Yeah. Over the last twenty five years, the crime rate and crime rate has been halved. Yeah, gone gone down. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the prison population has doubled. So there's less crime and more conviction. What do you think could explain that anomaly? The war on drugs and the criminalization of addiction. And the changing of certain rules. Of evidence and one of the biggest changes that they did is they allowed police officers prison officers and probation officers to go on the jury yeah 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 it used to only be jury of your peers and they couldn't go on yeah right now that you've got a police you, you, you can have a copper a probation officer a screw on your jury and they're gonna find you guilty no matter what yeah you're right my opinion yeah that's my opinion yeah right and and for me for me, that explains the more convictions, less crime and more convictions, and the explosion in, in the prison population. It's like a conveyor belt now. You don't even get a trial. It's just a plea, plea, listen, plea bargain listen, system from listen, America. Listen to this. Well, th it, that, that's what they did with me. Yeah, that's what they did with me. Plead guilty to threats to kill, and, and we'll throw the rape out. When the whole case should have been, the whole case was, was a malicious prosecution. Yeah, you're right. And they forced me to, to plead guilty. Yeah, yeah, right. Which I've just wrote. I've just wrote uh, a foreword for a friend of mine's book called De uh, uh, Dale Brendan Hyde. Dale Brendan Hyde wrote a book called Stitch. I've done a foreword. It ended up. It ended up being half a book. Yeah, right. When when I started to express my story. Yeah, right. Because and it's called Stitch because I'm in I'm in discussions now with some media people from. The potteries, some from South London, some from North London, yeah, with a view to making a documentary called Stitched. Yeah, yeah, right, right. I'll put uh, Craig, you know Craig Charles? Craig Charles out of Red Red Dwarf. Yeah. He's a he's a scouser. Yeah, yeah. He was nicked for rape in the eighties, eighties or nineties. Yeah, yeah, right. Sent to prison. It was not guilty. Yeah, right, right. We wanna we wanna interview him. You've got Ched, Aven Ched, Ched Evans, who was the footballer, yeah, yeah, who was found guilty of rape, got five years, did two years, went to the Royal Court of Justice on appeal, yeah, and a CPS had exculpatory evidence that cleared him. And he had, he had his conviction overturned, but his football career is over, yeah. 
right? So now you've got you. Listen, listen. You know what Vogue is? Violence against women and girls. Violence against women and girls is often short. Mm. Yeah, rape is a crime predominantly committed by men against women. Although although male rape is on the increase in the homeless and in prison in British prisons. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But I'm not focusing on that. I'm focusing on men that have been falsely accused. I was falsely accused. I had my life destroyed. Yeah, right. Because I wouldn't get rid of a baby and with one girl, and the other girl wanted me to get rid of the baby, and I wouldn't get rid of the baby. So she said I raped her. Yeah, yeah, right. And all she had to do was point a finger. Yeah, and my life was turned upside down. I had a trial by media that established my guilt that much speedier. I remember watching. Cliff Richard. Now, I don't know the stories about Cliff Richard yet, right? I've heard all kind of things. But I remember when they raided his house and he did it. And then he's outside the Royal Courts of Justice. He yeah, writes, and he's won. And I'm looking at him and he's broken, man. He's, he, 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 you see him, the man's broken. Yeah, yeah. These allegations break here. Yeah, 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 right. Now, now, getting shot was, was a day at the office. Getting bombed was a day at the office. Part and parcel of the life. I know it sounds crazy, but it's part and parcel of the life. It, it goes with the territory. Yeah, you can be lifed off or killed. It goes with the territory. So, so, but the, the, um, the, 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 I got, and I got through the rape, the rape of the girl one. The one that did me is when they said, I, I, I'm an incestuous paedophile. An incestuous paedophile. And, and, and they put photographs, semi naked photographs of my daughter. Naked photograph. This crazy bird used to photograph me when I was asleep, and mm. I didn't know. I'm on, the, I'm on the couch like that, cock house, yeah. On, and this nutty bird, yeah, yeah, right, is it, 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 photographing me unbeknownst. I was always telling her, stop taking pictures of me. Mm. I didn't know she had them. She's been, she's been, she's been jacking off on them for two years. Mm. Yeah. Now, now flip the script. Flip the script. I, as a man, take photographs of a woman. Naked photographs of a vagina. Yeah, yeah. She makes some allegations against me and my, my, my kids. So I then give them them naked photographs to my new girl who puts them online online and says she's interfering with my son. Yeah, 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 right. And I've got these photographs. I'll be in jail now. They just walk away. Yeah. They just you, you, listen, listen, it's it's a revenge porn. But I, I've come to understand that, yeah, right? So I don't use the police. I use civil courts. I issue my own cases. Yeah, 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 right? I issue my cases uh, 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 against them. The the chief prosecutor of Merseyside is a woman called Siobhan, Siobhan Blake. Yeah, 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 right, right. And I'm going to witness someone's here. Yeah, I'm going to witness someone's here. I'm going to put it in the dock. Yeah, right. I'm going to question it. And I'm going to ask her about the decision she made over my case. You're right. Because they were outrageous. Yeah. To even charge me. Yeah, you're right. Because there's a call for Crown Prosecutions. I think it's 4.2. Yeah, yeah. The evidence and likelihood of conviction. Yeah, yeah, right. Three statements made in my case. Yeah, 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 right. The woman made a statement and the two kids made a statement. They also made a statement about money. Yeah, yeah, right. They lied about the money. The statements were lies. We could prove they were lies because of my bank account. We could prove that there was lies in the statements. So there was a charge of controlling behavior through finance. That charge had to be dropped because of the bank evidence. So three statements, yeah, yeah, aren't strong enough to charge me. Yeah, here one statement on its own, which is the same statement as the three, is strong enough to charge me. It makes no sense unless it's a stitch up. You're right. Because if it's compromised for the, um, if there's a lies in it and it's compromised for the control and behavior charge, it's compromised for the rape charge. Yeah, right. But they wouldn't drop it. They just wanted me. Yeah, yeah, right. I've come to the other side of it. And like I wrote on the wall in blood, I'm having my turn. And look how happy I am. <laughs> look how happy I am. And, 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 and um, they'll either get exposed or pay me tank and it's their choice do you not think they'll try and stitch you up again I'm too f listen I'm, listen they, they, they are trying yeah right 
There's no criminality in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I even buy a TV license. Yeah, yeah, right. I give them no excuse to come and knock on my door. Yeah, I give them no excuse to do anything to me. I'm out, and I'm out of, I'm out of that jurisdiction. I'm now in the in the jurisdiction of the Met. Yeah, right. And the Met have got all kind of problems. I'm just a small fish to the Met. You understand? Yeah, yeah, right. I was a big fish on Merseyside. Yeah, right. And there were so many coppers that wanted to nick me. Yeah. The best thing I ever did did was not be chased out of Liverpool. Leave Liverpool of my own accord. At 57 years of age, I left. Yeah, and I was born there. Yeah, and I fucking run that city. There was a, there was a time when I run that city. Which brings me nicely to a story that I wanted to sh share with you. Yeah. About the author, Graham Johnson. Yeah. There was, there was a Tory, a Tory, he was, he was the Home Secretary at the time, yeah, and he went on to be the leader of the Tory party. Just shuffle forward a little bit. Yeah, and he, he, went, on, he went on to be the leader of the Tory party. Yeah, right, right. Now, John Ass and Paul Bennett got a pardon. Yeah, they got a pardon for telling them where, where, where caches of weapons were. Yeah, but... But they planted, they planted those caches of weapons, yeah, and they paid a bribe to this guy that was the leader of the Tory party because his cousin was a criminal. Can't remember the names now, yeah, right, but his cousin was a criminal. And apparently there was a tape recording, yeah, yeah, right, and Graham Johnson was looking for the tape recording. And he was told, if you go to Liverpool, you've got to go and see Stephen French. Yeah, Stephen French knows everything that's going on in Liverpool. He comes up to me, he tells me, Michael Howard, he comes up to me and he tells me about Michael Howard and the tape and that. Yeah, and I've heard about this tape. I've never heard the tape, but I've heard about the tape. Then he, then he tells me, you're an interesting character. Yeah. Now, this is why, this is why I believe that my, my, li my life's mapped out. In 1971, I was a member of the Young Black Panther Party. Yeah. YPP, yeah, yeah, green jackets. Now, everybody that I said it to said, you're a liar, you weren't, you were you were in, 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 in the Young Panther Party. I remembered in 1971, the Observer magazine came and they took a photograph of us, yeah, right, climbing the walls and I'm, on, I'm at the top of the wall, yeah, yeah, as an 11 year old kid, yeah, with all the big lads and I've got up the wall first. And that was in that was in the Observer magazine. I and and I knew when that photograph was took, taken as a kid. I knew as a kid that that would be in my book. I really did. Yeah, yeah. No, no bullshit. I knew that one day I'd write a book about myself and that photograph. I said it would be on the cover of my book. It wasn't on the cover of it was in. So I said to Graham Johnson, "You're an investigative journalist. If you find that photograph, I'll write a book with you." You, you, we will do the book together, but you've got to find that photograph. And he found it, and it's in my book. You understand? And you can see me, and it says the Young Panther Party, yeah, 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 climbing the Ang Anglican Cathedral. I've sent you the picture for you to flash it up. Yeah, 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 right. Because that was 1971. That was that was 1966. The Panther Party was formed in America. Bobby Seale and UEP Newton. Yeah, yeah. I'm a Panther at 11. Yeah, I've got history, you understand, in this city. I'm invested in this, this city. I actually personally took the colour bar off the doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it. With help of others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've been fighting uh, 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 um, racism, yeah, yeah, in my own way on the front line. There's a, there's a statue called Wardy's Bend. Yeah, I was the first person to pull a statue down when I knew it was a slave chair. In the 80s, chained it until the arms fell off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and these are the things that people don't know. But I don't get wrapped up in the racism stuff. Yeah, right? Because race is a social construct. Yeah, right? I don't hate white people anymore. I've let go of all my hatred. I, I, I've embraced a, a philosophy of love, light, and hope. Yeah? And I realize that, that, that white guys are getting fucked the same as us. White guys, at the present moment in time, ordinary white guys, I don't mean powerful, rich, they're getting fucked, man. They're getting the blame for everything. Yeah, it's like, and um, I'd, I'd like to make a comment while, while we're on 
about black lives matter and all lives matter and how much bollocks it all is. Yeah, right. Black lives matter is 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 a well-meaning group of people that have been more hijacked and infiltrated than the Panthers were in the 60s. Yeah, and then now they've become a divisive group. It's just about division. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All lives matter. Well, you're you're a follower of 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 the American genre, yeah, right? So you know, in 1776, they wrote the Declaration of Independence, and it said all men are created equal. But it didn't include black men then. Mm. We were four, we were four, we were, we were four fifth human and one fifth donkey. Yeah, yeah. According to them, look, look, it's not there. So what I've done is I've dropped alive the word black. And I've dropped the word all in this context, in that context, and I'm left with lives matter because lives matter. And that now that's inclusive. You can have one eye, one leg, one arm, and lives matter still includes you. You understand? Yeah. Because all I see with all lives and black lives is division. Yeah. And then that leads me on to, to why do people want us divided? Because we're easier to control. That leads me onto the COVID, and that that leads me into my conspiracy theories, which I'm not here to talk about. I just keep them to myself. Yeah, I actually know. I actually believe. I know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, right. But I don't voice it because you sound like a madman. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're telling the doctors write COVID on the death certificate, and we'll give you, and we'll give you thirteen thousand dollars. So what are the doctors going to do, man? They're going to write COVID on everything, aren't they? So the information we're getting, I don't really trust it. I don't really know. So that brings me to 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 where, where, where I am now. So we're trying to make that documentary called Stitch. Yeah, we're trying to get those guys involved. Yeah, right, because we want to run it alongside a new charity that I'm opening. And the new charity I'm opening is called Massif. Massif is spelt M-A-S-S-I-F. That stands for Men Accused of Serious Sexual Incidents Falsely. It's called Massif because I'm a massive guy. Yeah, right. Everything's got a, a relating to, to me. Yeah, right, right. Now, I've met a network of people online, two line, that, that tap into me for my strength because th that, that's happened to them. There's no support network for men. Yeah, yeah, right. The women, yeah, you're right. And this isn't this isn't to to dismiss what's happening with Vogue, violence against women and girls. I acknowledge violence against women and girls, and I acknowledge that rape's a crime against women. But there's also a crime against men and women, and that's the skanks, skeezers, dirty stinking hooers. Yeah, you're right, right. That say they were raped when they weren't. Yeah, 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 right. And turn on the tears, yeah, and, and, and ruin a man's life, yeah, for, for a vindictive reason. Yeah, yeah, right. Them bitches, they need to go to prison. They need to go to prison because I'd have got a 10 behind that shit. Yeah, yeah, non stuff. Yeah, right. And I'd have been fighting every day in my life as jail as, as a nonce. Yeah, yeah, right. And, and she, she believes she's just walked away. I tell you, she isn't walking away. Yeah, I'll tell you that I'm 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 in the process of of issuing a civil case. I've got six years to do it. Yeah, and I'm 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 waiting for the real command team to finish the complex investigation from the document that I told you that I wrote in two seventeen, institutionalization of malfeasance in public office because I complained to professional standards twenty incidents twenty incidences of merit. They don't know what to do with me. They won't give me the finalised report. Yeah, right? Because when I juxtapose what they're saying with the evidence that I've got, yeah, 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 yeah. It's very clear that there's no honesty. There's no integrity. And there's no impartiality. They've failed on their oaths on those three measures because all police officers take an oath to deal with everybody honestly, with integrity and impartially. Yeah, what I got was dishonesty 
a lack of integrity, yeah, 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 and partisan beyond belief. Yeah, 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 right. And and if I wasn't an experienced intelligence individual with the wherewithals to defend himself, I'd have been railroaded. I'd have been railroaded because I had to pull a technique in order to get the evidence out that I wanted to get out in order to get to, for the case to collapse. Yeah, yeah, right. So it's it's it's. I'm moving from that side of my life. Yeah, right. I'm definitely, definitely on the second, the last third of my life. Yeah, 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 right. I've, 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 I haven't been working since I came out of prison. Yeah, because I've been doing my cases and all that. Yeah, yeah, right. All my cases are solved. I've had a good feedback off the first po podcast. Lots of offers have come in off that fa first podcast. We're still talking to 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 Dark Light Entertainment in America. Yeah, right, right. We we've had one offer from from Calamity Jane, a company called Calamity Jane, Ellen Pompadour, the lady from Grey's and Anatomy. She offered me ten thousand dollars an episode as an executive pr producer on a series of The Devil, and I turned it down. You right, because I want an in association with Deal. Yeah, I want an in association with Deal, and I want a movie. You right to generate the money that I want to do, yeah, yeah, right, that, that I need, yeah, yeah, right, right to visualise my my own personal vision and dream and my legacy of the Andrew John Memorial Skill Centre. I've been trying to do it since I wrote the book, yeah, 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 yeah right. So it's 15 years now, not three years off the jail, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and all the pressure that came with me, I was so close. We went to Cannes in 2011 and uh, the guy that, the guy that, was the director for Death, Death Wish, Joe something Carpenter. Yeah, it was called the 49th Lord of Power to fill the script then. He said that you need to re re rewrite the script and change the title to Frenchie Urban Legend. Yeah, right. That's the title that we're working with. Yeah, yeah. And, and at the present moment in time, yeah, 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 I was broken. I consider myself an, unbre an unbreakable man. I really do. Yeah, yeah, I used to call myself the unbreakable one. Yeah, yeah, right, right. But the non-stuff, child non-stuff, broke me, broke me wide open. Yeah, right. And I had a, a mental health episode is what I've been told it was. Yeah, lost all my desire for sex. Yeah, you're right. Didn't want to have sex. Yeah, thought it was a problem with my testosterone. Went, went and got my my blood tested, done everything that I needed to do. Yeah, right. T t turned out... Um, um, I was I was suffering from post traumatic complex post traumatic stress disorder, brought on from childhood trauma and a new trauma of telling me that I was going to be Jimmy Savile when it turned out that it was Jimmy Savile that started all off for me when I was a kid. Yeah, old trauma and new tra trauma, yeah, you get it right, broke me. Yeah, and 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 it took it took a lot for me to be able to admit, as a strong, powerful man, I was broken. But I'm rebuilt. I'm now rebuilt. I've got all those that wronged me. Yeah, it, they're now the defendants. They're now in the dock. Yeah, yeah. The police, the probation, the child services, the uh, uh, prosecution services. Yeah, yeah. They're now in the dock. And I'll be answering them the questions. And if they lie from the dock, you know what happens to them if they lie from the dock? Perjury. They'll go like Jeffrey Archer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They sent Jeffrey down because Jeffrey lied on. You, you listen, listen. To pervert the course of justice, you can only c commit perjury from the dock. Yeah, and and don't get caught lying from the dock. Yeah, right. Because my favorite bit of evidence, rebuttal. I'll allow you to lie your ass off, and then I'll let you with the rebuttal, and you and then and then I'll order the judge to issue a bench warrant for their arrest because they've just lied on their oath. Yeah. And you know the worst thing, you know what'll happen with them? They'll be looking at me like I'm a cheeky bastard, but they'll have to do it. <laughs> because I liken it I liken it this way. I liken I liken the British judicial system to a casino. And the house always wins, doesn't it? The house always wins. So if the game is rigged and the deck is stacked. The only thing you can do to get a result is learn the rules of engagement. 
the rules, the regulations, the guidelines, the principles, the protocols, yeah, of their governing bodies that tells them the way they have to behave. Yeah, if you can learn that, yeah, and apply that to them, right, 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 you can be in the position where I am now. They can't stitch me up again. They can't stitch me up again because it's too obvious. Yeah, right, right. You can't stick a, 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 two keys of Charlie in my car and, and, and say it, it was mine. It's not going to wash. I'm too far into it. So I still have the same passion that, I, that, that I've always had. Yeah, you right. I still have the psychotic side to my nature. Yeah, 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 right. But I understand that. Yeah, yeah, right. Through therapy, yeah, yeah, right. Because they tried to give me medication and I told them I've been medicating too long already. I don't want no medication. Yeah, right. I want therapy. So uh, uh, um, I went to a place called Spectrum, £80 an hour, the guy was. Yeah, a guy called Mike Webley. Yeah, 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 right. And he told me about Big Steven and Little Steven. And he, he, he helped me. Rebuild myself, rebuild myself to become the man that I want to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm more than a criminal. Yeah, 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 right. I'm, and I've always known that I was more than a criminal. Yeah, right. And I want to leave, I want to I wanna do more than come on and, and live this life and sleep, shit, piss, sleep, and drink beer. I want I want to have something. I want to leave a legacy. Yeah. And I'm going to have another go. I've got a good, I've got a good ten years work left in me. I'm going to have another go. Yeah, yeah, right. Of 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 making the programs and and, and having my dream going. Yeah, right. But this time I'm cocaine free. Yeah, yeah. I won't allow myself to be um, cajoled into something silly or foolish, making making chasing after people because they've called me a name. Yeah, right. I finally got my emotions in check. Yeah. And I'm in a very good place. I'm in a very good place. I'm very happy. Um and I'm 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 glad that it's time to, I could retire, but I wanna go back to work. I wanna go back to work and I wanna give it a, give give it another shot. And what happened, how how it came about was was uh, it came off I like social media. I love social media. I enjoy social media stuff. Yeah, you're right. And it helps me get my side of the story out there. Yeah. And I've got a huge following. So anyway, um I came off in January 2018. Yeah, 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 right. Cause I because I couldn't take it anymore and whatever was going on. I was I was at a low ebb and I needed to go to the doctors and I did whatever I did. And it came back on in March, March 20. Yeah. Yeah, 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 right, right. And it seems to be different this time. Yeah, right. And opportunities are, are presenting themselves all the time. I see this as an opportunity. Yeah. I, I, I see it as an opportunity because I've done my Yang video. Yeah, right. This, the, yeah, this is my Yin, yeah, yeah. And it's the balance. We did have a conversation. Yeah, right. And, and I've give the, the American audience a little bit of the flavor of of how I became to be the devil. Yeah, yeah. How I became to be called the guy called the devil. Even got, got red clothes on. I should have a tail and horns, shouldn't I? <laughs> I should have brought some horns. Yeah. But it, um, um, I'm more than my environment. I'm more than, I'm more than the labels that have been put on, on, on me. Yeah, right. And I intend to, I've had a lot of firsts. Yeah, yeah right. It, um, things that, Things that people, I was, I was, Liverpool University, 1980s, the only world champion that they've ever had. Yeah, yeah, that was a first from, from, from because that was my, my, uh, uh, did you go to the poly or, or the red brick? The uni, the proper one would. Um, yeah, the red, it's called red brick. Okay. See, one used to be called a poly, polytechnic. Yeah, my girlfriend yeah. went to poly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then. Liverpool is one of the five red brick universities, top of the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where we, so we were educated in the same place. I used yeah, to go we, dance at the state before Quadrant Park. I don't know how I did the scene because I used to work on those stores. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and, and you remember Bowie, Bowie Spratt's um, rave in the garage? 
Yeah, because I used to I used to collect me yeah. and I used to collect the money there. Yeah. yeah. I was the door, I was the doorman. No, you can't come in. Put your money in the bag. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good good times. Yeah, uh, my co-defendant, Wild Man, he used to score his weed at some oh, I was like some blues place or something in Toxter, some kind of place where they were playing music. L- listen to this. Yeah, right, right. If that was the late Hazy's in the daytime, that was my restaurant. Was it? Yeah, called a double decker. My, one of my nicknames was Decker. Yeah, you're right. And it was a double decker. And we used to have a blues. It's called a blues shabine. Yeah. Yeah. After that was party. And I'd just go on all night and there'd be reggae music pumping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody used to come from everywhere to go there. Good times. The right? reason we ended up in the scrapyard was we picked this guy up and um, he, sa- he said, give us a ride. I'm going to this uh, raster party in some tent. Yeah. And um, he took us around the back. We're the only white lads there. He took us around the back, just pulls out a knife. He goes, this is how we get in and just fucking cut the tent <laughs> open. And everyone's staring at us like, you're the fuck are they? Yeah. You know? And then he, he took us to some house. He took us to some house. He talked stuff. And uh, we were just like in the living room and stuff. And um, some guy just comes down the stairs with a fucking chainsaw. We're like, fucking hell, we better get out of here. Listen, what did you read at uni? Um, business studies, okay. economics. Okay. Yeah. So you're an egghead? I was working in the stock market. Was you? Yeah. Stockbroker? Yeah, but I went off the rails. Started yeah. throwing the rave parties in Arizona and importing ecstasy. Yeah. Yeah. How did you find Penn? Well, I was lucky because Wildman was arrested with me. He, he looked after you? <laughs> he's 28 stone. Yeah. His, so hand, you, so his you, hands are so as big as yours. So you never got raped? I never dropped the soap. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, poor oh man. Ten frightening place, penitentiary. It's Aryan Brotherhood. Decide who lives or dies out there if you're white. Yeah. All just prison gangs. Yeah. All yeah. racially divided. Yeah, yeah. Mexicans, blacks. Yeah. I wouldn't like to go to prison there. Yeah. Like to go to prison there. It's intense. Yeah. So, um, I'm I'm happy for the opportunity that you've given me. Yeah. I'm happy to to um make myself known to the American audience. A lot of people in America have seen have seen the program. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the Stephen French story doesn't end there. Yeah, right, right. The devil is dead. You understand? The devil's put away. Yeah, I've put down my knives. I've put down my guns. Yeah, right, right. I've put down criminality. Yeah, yeah, right. And I'm embracing love, light, and hope. Yeah, right, right. Because... Too many people are dying. Too many people are dying needlessly. Yeah, yeah, right. Those in positions of authority and power who are supposed to create a paradigm for us all to be able to tap into, yeah, right, so we can support ourselves are failing the young men. Yeah, yeah, right. And not only are they failing the young men, the point at the young men and saying it's the it it's the, it, they're, the, they're the cause, they're the cause, they're the cause. When the young men aren't the cause, they're the symptom, it right, of their failure. And when I'm talking about their failure, I'm talking about the police, the courts, the judiciary, the bankers. Bob Diamond, yeah, 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 took billions and billions and billions, didn't do a day, didn't do a day's jail. Yeah, yeah. Greedy, look what's just happened with uh, um, Liz Truss and, and, and the companies, yeah, right, and the, the, the PPE equipment and 225 million quid get wasted. It never got wasted. They've had a, they've had a big whack out. They're just greedy. They're not trustworthy. They, 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 they're not doing the job that they're supposed to do. And they're pointing at the young lads saying, look, 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 look. They're the problem, they're the problem. When they're the symptoms, while they're stuffing their own pockets. Exactly. While they're stuffing their own pockets. Now, I, I as a voice, I've, I, I, I've, been, I've been singing that mantra for 15 years and they tried to kill me for it. Because I went on, and it's it's exactly I can see exactly the same thing happening to that young man with his uh, put down a knife campaign. What's his name? Darren. Darren G. Yeah, right. They've called him a nonce. They've called him a snitch. They've called him. The, 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 he's a coward, and he's not a. Co- he's a brave guy. Yeah, he's not. He's, he's, he, he, listen, and that's how I knew it wasn't him on the phone to me, because if he's got something to say to you, he'll say it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Plus, he bumped into my family in, in Manchester, so. I also understand where he's at. 
Yeah, right. Because I've reached out to him for a couple of a couple of times. You know why he won't uh, 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 um, speak with me for the simple reason he can't trust anybody. Is he, 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 especially anybody that's been a criminal because he just doesn't know what's at the back of it. Yeah, right. And and I know where his head's at when it's like that. Yeah, right. Because he's 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 exhausted with it. But he won't, he, he can't lay down. He's too far with it, yeah, right? And he can see his own death, you understand? He believes he's going to be killed, yeah, right? I hope he isn't. I hope he makes it, you get me? I hope that God's, God singled him out to survive, you understand? You know, because his, um, his, his campaign is, is really picking up. He's really, get, he, he, he's really doing it, but he, he lacks a bit of structure with it, yeah, right? And, he, and he's under so much pressure, he doesn't know what to do next. So I feel for the kid. Yeah, you're right. I'm still, I'm still involved in a um, incident. I'm still, I, I, I work as for for a, uh, a charity, and we meet and greet prisoners coming out of jail and get them sorted out. And I'm, I'm, I'm still doing stuff with young men. Yeah, you're right. And um, um, you had a young lad, lad did a week. He, he, he got accused of rape. He swallowed a load of tablets. It's my phone. You better go and sort them out and that. Yeah, right, right. But my focus is, 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 is switching. I'm still going to do my, my, my mentoring and my peace campaigning. Yeah, right. But I'm leaving it to others that want to get everything involved because there's too much aggra aggravation that goes with it. And I'm going to concentrate on, on massive, yeah, yeah, and making TV programs and doing the stuff that, I, that, that I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, right. In order to try to facilitate my own dream. Yeah, right. And my own dream is, 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 is a solution to the problems. A solution to the problem because if if what I'm trying to do works, it can be a blueprint that can be taken anywhere. Yeah, right. I I had Ivan the Holyfield down. I had uh, and it was it was a uh, 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 peace through participation in sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had some great initiatives. Yeah, right. But there was, we just couldn't get the support. Yeah, right. I was using all my own money because what I did is I didn't want anybody to say to me, um, Sean, that I was doing this work to get paid. So I used my own money. Yeah, right. Now I'm past all that. I'm past what anybody thinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, right. And and um, um, we've all got bills to pay. Yeah, and we've all we all have to make a living. Yeah, right. So I'm I'm, I'm past all that. So I'm gonna do what I'm doing, and I will be paid for doing it. Yeah, because I have the entrepreneurial skills. Yeah, yeah right, right, right. To develop a business, to to develop, to take an idea. To, to, to put a business plan behind it, to schedule it, and then to actualize it, yeah, right? I can do that, yeah, right? I'm not a run-of-the-mill knobhead dormant. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not me, yeah, right? And one of the things that, one of the reasons why I've survived so long, it's nothing to do with my ferocity. It's nothing to do with my courage. It's to do with my intellect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not dumb, yeah, yeah. Me, Curtis Warren, and Yasser Arafat had a sixth sense. Yasser, Yasser Arafat would be in a building and say, I'm going now. Leave, and then they'd be bombed 10 minutes later. A sixth sense for that type of trouble. So did Curtis. They, they had to bug every phone on, on Jersey to catch him. And they had to break their own rules to catch him and put him in prison the first time. They just did they what did they actually illegally jailed him and it just said i don't care you're doing it and i don't care yeah, yeah right and it's not so it's, it's not supposed to be that way yeah right because the biggest crooks and criminals yeah yeah, yeah two of the biggest gangsters i know yeah george bush and tony blair <sighs> absolutely yeah yeah yeah, yeah right I met I met Kofi Annan. I was doing I met Kofi Annan and I was asking him about about because he was the he was the UN General Secretary when they did the illegal war and he said to me George Bush told me to fuck off. George Bush said you and the UN can fuck off. We're going we're going to go and do them sand niggers. Yeah, but so, sorry, camel jockeys you called them. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, uh, and. Why would Kofi Annan lie? Yeah, yeah, right. He was the second general. He, he said, "He said the Bushes are crazy. Yeah, yeah they're just a, a mad hillbilly family. Yeah. So, so they 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 went and swapped blood for oil. Yeah, they they ignored 
the police, which was the UN. They fought an illegal, uh, illegal war. And he's on the after dinner circuit now. And I think he gets a million quid a pop. Tony Blake. George H.W. Bush brought more cocaine into America than Escobar. Yeah. <laughs> he made Escobar look, look like small time. People, see, people say, they say, oh, no, that's all conspiracy, it's all lies. It's not. I've written a book on it. I'll, yeah. have to, I'll, have to, I'll send, I'll send yeah, it yeah. to you. Listen, listen. I've written a book, Who Killed Barry Seal? Yeah. Pablo Escobar or George H.W. Bush. What, what, Amer what, American Made, it's called. What, what, what is it? Was it um, Bill Clinton and all the stuff that was going into Was it Denver or Colorado? Clinton had it coming in. So the cocaine was coming into Arkansas. That's it, under Arkansas. Bush, and that, Clinton was the governor of the state, so he provided the state police protection. And it was all going smoothly until two boys saw it. They killed them. They put them side by side on the railway tracks, put a tarp over them, and said the train had run over them. But the dad was a, worked on the trains, and he knew it was all bullshit. So Clinton, he paid his medical examiner to come in and say they'd got so high on weed, they'd gone into a psychedelic trance, Laid side by side on the tracks, and the train had run over them. That's how that's how corrupt it was. And and and, and he pulled that off. Pulled it off, yeah. The woman, uh, Lynn, um, Kevin Ives so and Don you, Henry, you, the listen, kids. You think Hillary's getting nicked? No, some people are untouchable. It's like this Epstein She's case yeah. now. Prince Andrew, Clinton, they're all documented on the Peter Island, you know, with with the kids. Yeah, yeah. They won't ever do a day in jail. Yeah. So so. That's why we're calling this channel. We're calling for an end to the war on drugs and a beginning of the war on the pedos. Listen, and tying into what you said. Listen, I'm, I'm actually becoming a Trump supporter. And I'll tell you why I'm becoming a Trump supporter because he's trying to drain the swan, swamp. And the way the way the, the established media go after them, you're right, because I don't believe anything that comes out of there, but what they say, the way they go after them is not what he's saying. It's not what they're saying he is, right? And, and uh, uh, um, black unemployment is at the lowest. The initiatives that he's starting in black communities is unbelievable. Bringing black people to the, to the White House when, uh, uh, when, when, when Obama, 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 I think Obama's the Antichrist personally, yeah? But, uh, 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 and he did, he did nothing. So I'm looking at Trump in a different way. I'm looking at Trump in a different way because if he tackles the corruption, you're right because it's what it that that's actually what's got the country. It's not the drugs, you're right. It's these individuals and in positions of authority and power, or who are utilizing that authority and power. Yeah, you're right. Drug to, laws to fe, to fed themselves because they know from alcohol prohibition yeah. that it just gets more crime, more violence, and everything. The black market. Yeah. They did this, so they stopped it after 10 years of alcohol prohibition because yeah. of Al Capone and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They made drugs illegal. They've seen it get completely out of control, Mexican cartel level, but they've learned to profit from it, mass incarceration. Yeah. And they left an exclusion in the Constitution saying slavery is abolished in America except for people convicted of crime. They've got black guys in America working on the exact same, same plantations that I'm working on when they were slaves yeah, no. by arresting this, them through this, drug this, laws. This, this, so, in the UK, yeah, yeah, they started to build supermax prisons that can hold 3,000 people, yeah. They privatised the probation. Yeah, I was in it all then, yeah, right? So, so you've got privatised prob probation and public probation working alongside each other, and they haven't got a Scooby-Doo, yeah, yeah, right? If they were working in the public sector, yeah, right, on the reoffending of figures only, they'd be sacked. Because cause they're absolutely useless, yeah, right? But then I realised it's not about rehabilitation. It's about it's about uh, uh, um, containment, yeah, right? Now, not all the only contain them. They said, look, we'll build the super prisons, but you've got to give us the prisoners, yeah, yeah right? So now, yeah, you're actually even talking about trials without a jury because of all the, all the backlog. So, you, so, so, so you've got some judge going, yeah, you can have a six, yeah, you can have a seven, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then you're working for 50p an hour. You understand? And, and and they're charging the companies £14 an hour, yeah, you're right, which is the exact same model that you're talking about in America, isn't it? In Arizona, 98% of the cases are plea bargains, 2% only go to trial. If everyone exercised the right to a trial, justice system would collapse. Listen to this. I've seen it. It's, it's, it's the technique. You load up on charges, don't you? Yeah, throw all this mud yeah, yeah, at yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, Something's going to stick. They, 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 they did that with me. They loaded up on, on charges with me. But... Um, um, I, I believe 
and this is what I believe for our country, yeah, right? And we can start to wind up now. This is what I believe for our country, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, with the COVID stuff, yeah, 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 right, right. I don't really know what's going on with it, yeah, right? There's so much stuff out there, yeah, right, right. But when the government's laying down regulations where you where we're under house arrest, we're not in quarantine, yeah, right? Because you've got to be sick to be in quarantine. We're actually under house arrest. When they start coming in and saying, we're taking your children, yeah, to the British people, that's when the British people will wake up because it's rude to say, to call somebody, tell somebody to sleep. And it's rude to tell them that a sheep, yeah, right? Because all it is, is we've all been deceived, me included, you get me? We've been deceived by the, by, by the mass media, I believe, yeah, right? And I believe they, they have an agenda to what, what they're doing, yeah, right? And it's all linked to the pedo stuff. Everything for me links back to the pedo stuff, yeah, right, right? Messing with kids. Now, are they sacrificing kids? Who knows what they're doing, yeah? But I'm telling you, 10,000 kids a year are going missing. Where are they? Where are they? Yeah. Um, when I got to Arizona. Did you, read, did you read Did you read? Clive Driscoll? No. In The Pursuit of Truth? Mm -mm. Jack Straw was the guy I was talking about. Clive Driscoll, yeah, you're right, is the police officer that brought Stephen Lawrence's murders to justice. But he was working in La Lambeth on the... On the Porno cases, sorry, the uh, pedo cases, and he and he, he came up to Leon Britain. He kept he kept coming to Leon Britain, Leon Britain, Leon Britain, and who's the guy who had the morning cloud? Ted Heath, yeah, yeah. Ted Heath were throwing him off, throwing him off the boat. Yeah, yeah, right. I can believe that too. Yeah, yeah right. Because he was so known, so well known. He not a young boy. The young boy would able, be able to remember him. Yeah, he got took on the boat by Jimmy Savile, and he was never seen again. Yeah, right. All the stuff that he was doing in, in, in Jersey. He a prime minister, and he's a murderer. We had the Jimmy, uh, a Teddy victim on on the channel. Did you? Yeah, fucking heartbreaking story. It's called the meat rack. They just sold the kids through uh, the social services. Just sold the kids from the care homes through this meat rack. Like that one's a chicken, that one's this. That, that, depending that, that, on how yeah, old yeah. they are in 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 yeah, London. Yeah. What was your Jimmy Savile story then? So my Jimmy Savile story is this: He used to come to children's homes and give children's homes gifts. Yeah, 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 yeah. So so it's nineteen. It's nineteen sixty five. Yeah, 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 yeah. My mum's had a breakdown. We've gone into care. We've ended up at at at, at that. I didn't remember. I only remember when I got the, the the subject access report. Yeah, that it turned out to be Wooten Vale Children's Child Assessment Centre. In 1980, in the 80s, it was closed down as part of Operation Care. Operation Care was a police operation. There were 29 arrests. About 13 people went to prison for physical and sexual abuse on children. Yeah, yeah, right. That was in the 80s. I was there in the 60s. The copper that got my child files first, read them first, who was doing the historic, because I, I made an historic allegation. He, he comes in, he says, Stephen, I've read your child files. He goes, and the heroin. He said, the heroin to read. He said to me, you've got two brothers and two sisters. He says, are your elder siblings white? Uh, uh, and they are. They look, they look, they look, they look they, they've got, if I have a kid with a white baby, it looks white. Yeah, with a white girl, it looks white. They, they, their dad's my colour. My dad's full black. Yeah, right, right. So they look white. They went into foster homes. Yeah. Me and my sister, because of because we were dark. Yeah, right. And it's 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 river, rivers of blood speech time and uh, um, Enoch Powell time. Yeah, yeah. They could they couldn't foster us. So they sent me to that Victorian hellhole. Yeah, yeah, right. In the sixties. He came. Yeah. Yeah. Um he gave me the fire engine with a yellow leather and a bell on it. Yeah, yeah, right, right. And he tried to fill me up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he tried to fill me up. But uh, uh, um, I just whacked him automatically whacked him in the face and a hard plastic ladder cut him on his eye, which stopped him. Now, I was moved from that home. On the 23rd of December, which is the day before Christmas Eve, 
who gets moved? This is the question that I, I wanted to ask in the court. Why does a kid get moved when everywhere's closed down? Yeah, when, when everybody's starting the Christmas break, yeah, right? I got moved because of that incident. Yeah, it's nowhere in the paperwork, but I was there and he was there. Yeah, yeah, right. And the police officer, I got the emails from the police officer. He said, if he was alive today, with what you said and what we know about him, we'd charge him. Yeah, 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 we'd charge him. That was enough for me. Yeah, right. Because they, they, they're pivotal things, pivotal things in my childhood that changed, that changed me from a decent kid. Yeah into a beast, yeah, yeah, right? Because I then had no trust of adults, yeah, yeah, right, right? I've been getting whipped and caught and wired, yeah, yeah, right? And I liken myself, I, I like dogs. You get two dogs, yeah, yeah, and you beat and beat and beat one dog, yeah, yeah, right? And you beat and beat the other dog. Two things happen with the dog. Every time you go near the dog, it lifts its leg and starts pissing, yeah, yeah, right? Because it's terrified. Or every time you come near it, it tries to bite your leg off. Yeah, yeah, right. And then it ends, up, it ends up a junkyard dog. I ended up a junkyard dog. That's what that's what I ended up. So I know what's happened to me. I I know why I am the way I am. I know I know exactly what was done to me and why I am the way I am. So I've reclaimed my own life. I've reclaimed my own life. I'm on the last head of my life, and I want to live in love, light, and hope. And I want to do something, I want to give something back and I want to do something decent. And I've done my, my part of what I wanted to do, yeah. And I wanted to come today and make this, this podcast a bit more of a celebration of what I'm doing and to show people that my lighter side, that my life isn't all aggravation and, 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 and fights, yeah, you're right. That, that I'm a 60-year-old man that looks 45, you're right, because I'm... I'm, I'm unfazed by it all. I'm the other side of it, you're right. Nobody's looking to kill me. The police can't arrest me, you're right. And I can go back to work, yeah, yeah, with a clear mind, without drugs. I still I still smoke a joint, yeah, you're right, right? But I don't take cocaine and I love an, a, a, and I like a pint of Guinness, yeah? It was the cocaine that fucked me up. It was the cocaine that made me, like, like lose my mind. And it was, it was the cocaine why I ended up in prison, you're right, because... It rots your brain. I can support ending the war on drugs. I can support the war on paedophilia. Yeah, yeah, right, right, because it's everywhere. Yeah, yeah, right. And and those in positions of authority and power that are supposed to be dealing with it, yeah, yeah, yeah they seem to be uh, 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 involved in it. And you should read Clive Driscoll's book. Yeah, right, because he was a chief, uh, uh, DCI, DCI Clive Driscoll, uh, yeah, yeah, so he was an establishment member, yeah, yeah, he'd been given awards as a police, police officer. His, his, his character was beyond reproach, yeah, yeah, and in his book he says, Jack Strauss closed this investigation down. He said, and then, you know, men taking kids, there's girls, go, with antlers, horns on, yeah, all that ritual satanic stuff. Yeah, yeah, you're right. If you talk about the ritual satanic stuff, yeah, people think you're crazy, yeah, right? I seen it in the care homes, you understand? Yeah, you're right. I seen the people with the long robes on, yeah, you're right, coming and taking kids out, yeah, you're right? I didn't know what it was when I was a kid. I just used to think it was monks or, or priests, yeah? So what happened to the kids who didn't hit back like you? Listen to this. The same has happened to the Indian kids in Canada when the Queen went there. They just went missing. Yeah, no records, no papers. One day they was there, the next day they weren't, and it was like they never existed. Yeah, yeah, right. And and there's traces of it. There's, and it's it's not. I'm not a, 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 an anti-royalist. I'm just presenting unpalatable facts. Yeah, that are known, that people don't want to speak about. Yeah, right. And what when I what I think, what I believe this agenda of what they're up to, they will lose. And the reason why they will lose, yeah, right, is you can't mess with British people's kids. 
You cannot. And, and these people are after the children, man. You get me? These people are after. I, I know they're after the children. They're after uh, 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 legitimizing and lowering, and lowering the age, yeah, for, for having sex with kids. Yeah, yeah, right? And then anybody that speaks out about them or anybody that says anything about them, we end up getting labeled as nonsense. Me and Darren G. He's not a nonce. I'm not a nonce. How does that happen? So you said that you would like to do a point a joint podcast with Darren G. What would the purpose of that be? Because he's probably going to watch this. Listen to this. Yeah, 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 right. It would be an interesting take. Yeah, if I did a po- and this is why it would be an interesting take for several reasons. First off, yeah, yeah, right. He's from he's from L five. I'm from L eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's twenty years between us. Yeah, yeah, right. He's been in care. I've been in care. Yeah, he's been to prison longer than me. I've been to prison. Yeah, yeah, right. He's victim to what I was the victim of from 2008 to 2013. Yeah, all the things that he's saying about the kids being desensitized and becoming in- inhuman. I was saying in 2008, I was saying when he was a kid that it was going to happen if we didn't get a grip of it. Yeah, and it was going to get worse and get out of hand. Yeah, right. And I was mullered for it. Yeah, yeah, I was mullered for it. He was, he was mullered for it. Yeah, yeah, right. One of the reasons I want, I'd want to do a podcast with him is that if he sits as close to me as you are now, yeah, yeah right. He will get a flavour that that I've got no agenda against him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want him to pop wide open. Yeah, 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 right. And I can advise him and counsel him. Yeah, right. On how to deal with this stuff because I spoke with him on the phone. A guy called Cody. Put, uh, put him on the phone, phone with me and have a com- conversation with him when he was living in L4 and, he, and, and the best is Ken and tried to kill him. Yeah, right. And he was at his tether's end. He's not a he's not a scared kid. He's not a coward. Yeah, you're right. But it's constant for him. You get me? It's constant for him. Yeah, and he doesn't know where it's coming from. And I understand. I'm not offended that he didn't want to speak to me. I'm not offended because I understand where his head's at. The benefits of me and him doing a podcast together, yeah, right, would be more for, beneficial for him. Yeah, right. Because I could uncle him up about what he's going through and, and, and where he's going. He believes that everybody wants to cash in on what he's doing on him, yeah, right? He's got serious trust issues because of what's got gone, gone, gone on with him, yeah, right, right? I don't want nothing from him. I just want to, I just want to let him continue with his, his, his message, yeah, yeah, and have, have a bit of a life, yeah, right, without always worrying about getting a bullet in the face. You understand? Yeah, and, and the best thing he did was leave Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, and go around on his bike because once you get out of that, he, 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 it's giving a, a little bit more of a re- relaxing time. And that's why I wanted to reach out to him because I could see what was happening, uh, happening to him because all he's, all he's trying to do is save kids and look at the hate he's getting. But he's got more love than hate. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's just empty vessels do what? They make the most noise, don't they? Yeah, they make the, the, the dumb. It's like, it's like, um, <laughs> my, my cousin he said to me have you read the comments I said I don't fucking read them comments about me why do I want to read them comments I know what they're going to fucking say yeah 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 right and they're just shitheads yeah right a lot of them don't like me because I'm a slick <laughs> yeah yeah and, and, and they just don't like black people I've never let racism be my problem racism is the racist problem you understand don't get me wrong I had my period of anti whites I really did you're right, right. But as I be- become mature and educated, I understand that race is a, race is a social construction and racism, yeah, right, is part of that social construction and it's absolute bollocks. It's absolute, it's absolute bollocks. We're, we're the same, you understand? we just got different skin colours. I, I'm, I'm, I don't, I, because I can point racism out doesn't make me a racist. Yeah, right? Because I don't buy into it, yeah, yeah, right? Because I don't want Equality, yeah, yeah. Who the fuck are you to give me equality? I took it years ago. Yeah, I'm equal to anybody. Yeah, you're right. I go where I want. I do what I want, and I'm a happy guy. Yeah, you're right. And um, uh, um, I actually love this country. I love living in this country. I love the ordinary people in this country. It's the elected officials that we've trusted to look after us that I have a problem with. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That they're pointing at me while they're filling the bag. Yeah, look at him over there. Look at him over there. I seen an, I seen a good uh, stat the other day about immigrants. 
immigrants claiming benefit. And the maximum that, that's paid is 86 million a year. It's 86 million a year, which is a drop in the ocean when you think what these people have just done. So they're like, they're taking your jobs, yeah, yeah, 20 biscuits, 20, 20 biscuits, yeah, yeah, on the table, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the bankers and the politician, yeah, yeah, take 19 biscuits, yeah, and then they say to the workers, look at the immigrants that after your biscuit. You get me? And that's what's happening. Keep the masses divided. Yeah, yeah, that's what, what's, what's happening. So, um, I've spoke about the charity that I'm opening up. That's what I wanted to speak about. I've spoke about g giving the American audience a little bit of, of, of my flavor. Yeah. Um, and I'm up for that reprinting thing yeah, yeah, that, that we spoke about. And for me, um, Sean, it's all a means to an end. Yeah, keeping myself current, keeping up my profile, yeah, you're right, right, because I haven't given up hope of, of the film being made. Yeah, I have a production company called Massive and Agile Media, MAM, which is MAM, a tribute to my mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've made a couple of programs already. Um, and, and, why not me? Yeah, that's what I have. Evol I've always said that. Why not me? Yeah, and that will give us the revenue because I don't want nothing from central governments. I don't want nothing from local governments. I don't want no help from anybody. It's like one of the things that annoy me. Yeah, yeah. When when they talk about reparations and black people and and, and they want something for nothing, I don't want fuck all of you. Yeah, I don't fuck all off the government. I don't fuck all off uh, uh, of repatriations. I've stood on my own two feet since I was 11. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I look after me and look after mine. Yeah, you're right. And I don't want no handouts. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Because I'm a man. Yeah, you're right. So don't don't talk that crap to me. Yeah, you're right. Go and talk that crap to somebody who's got the handouts in, in, in the door queue. Yeah, so... They, 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 they're my personal philosophies. Yeah, yeah. I've realized that it's okay to be vulnerable. It took me a long time to, 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 to understand that, you get right, and be vulnerable. Because when I was a vulnerable child, those whose responsibility was for look, to look after me were trying to fuck me. You understand? And I don't mean beat me up. You understand? Yeah, so, so, and, and then, it, it, it's like, it's like I said to you when I made documentary, it, when, I, when, when, I, when I took the photograph of the young pandas that are being a book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a, a timeline in, in my mind, yeah, yeah, right, where certain things happen, yeah, right? And it's like a destiny revealing itself, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm marked, I'm marked for an abundance. I could say to you, see, and I'll give you an example of, of my time and then date stamp and everything. Yeah. I could say to you, I want, in one weekend, I spoke to 100 million people. And you could go, 100 million people, that's a lot of people, Stephen. How the hell did you do that? August the 18th, August the 18th, 2012, Olympics time, Ivan the Holyfield's over here. Yeah, I took him down to Radio City. They tried to kick me out and just interview him. I said, you're mad easy with me. They cut me out of the thing, yo. So anyway, I went on to Sky, I went to Sky News. The Sky News guy, guy called uh, uh, Bob, he says to me, he says, Stephen, we want to interview Evander on, on the Friday and you on the Saturday. So I say to myself, the fuck are me over did it again? Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't about me. I had Evander Holyfield. A boxer talking about kids joining karate. Yeah, I had him doing that on Sky TV News. So I let them go ahead and do it. Yeah. Sunday morning, the car comes for me. Get in. I get in the car, the driver, and, he, and he, the driver is a very pleasant guy. And he's driving, he goes, Do you know, Mr. French, that when you go on Sky TV News today, that you'll be speaking to 50 million people? Wait. There's a guy called Bishop Ebby in 2000. This, that's 2012. In 2009, Bishop Ebby said to me, he's a black church that I go to, he said, you're going to speak to millions. You're going to speak to hundreds of millions in a weekend. And I'm looking and I'm thinking, 
you're just you're just one of those awful priests that's trying to get his hand in my pocket. Yeah, right. That's with my bad mind. I was thinking, and he flashes into my mind as I'm sitting in, in this car, and this guy says, "You're going to be speaking to 50 million people," and I did. Yeah, and I told him about Bob Diamond. I told him about the judges. I told him about the blame. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The guy said to me. He said, how does that filter down? I said, of course it filters down. The guy in the news, he, 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 I flustered him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I just, he tried to cut me off and I said to him, you don't know what you're talking about, mate. Uh, um, then on the Sunday, Radio Europe, who also has 50 million listeners, I repeated him in messages. So that makes 100 million people, doesn't <laughs> it? In a weekend, that's, and, 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 and if you go online, and you, and you put in August 2012, Evander Holyfield, it'll come up. <laughs> it'll come up. They took my clip down. Yeah, yeah, right. But it'll come up and it'll say he's with me. Yeah, you guys. If you go on, to, if you uh, uh, type in Radio Europe, the same dates, Stephen French interview, it'll come up. Yeah, right. I can prove what I say. Yeah, right. And as fantastical as it sounds, and I was delivering, I delivered a message of peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A triple G thing it was. Yeah. Get guns gone. Speaking at Liverpool University, three, it's a 3G thing, baby. Yeah, yeah. I had all the lyrics uh, 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 to go with it. it, it um, and my my gangsterism caught up with me. Yeah, yeah. And I had to turn gangster on some people that threatened my family. Yeah, yeah. That was 213. Yeah. And it took me this seven years with three years prison to be back rapping on that door again. Yeah, yeah, right. And I'm rapping on that door. I'm more experienced, man. Yeah, right. I still got the same drive. I've still got the same energy. Yeah, yeah, right. And I'm still uh, um, wanting to develop a legacy from a grassroots movement. Yeah, yeah, to improve the plight of my own. And and I don't think that's a bad thing. But people want to run you down and, and crash you down for the and. and that's why I would want to speak to to young Darren because he's at the same he's at the same place. You get me? And and and, and there's there's so much similarities in our life, right? But then there's the racial divide as well. He's a black guy. He's a white guy, and I'm a black guy. Yeah. What do you say to the young people watching this who are tempted into drugs, drug dealing, and crime? Um, it's as simple as this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Yeah, stay at school. Yeah, 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 right. Get an education. Yeah, 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 right. And learn a skill. Yeah, learn a skill that you can that you can apply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to get an apprenticeship. Back in um, back in the seventies, Margaret Thatcher brought out a thing called the Job Creation Program (JCP). Yeah, yeah, right. Where you where you could. Go and learn to be a painter or learn to learn something for the year. Go to college. They release to the college. Yeah, yeah. I took advantage of that. Yeah, right. And if I ever come unstuck, I could be a painter and decorator because I've got that skill. Yeah, 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 right. You've got to have a transferable skill to provide for yourself. Yeah, yeah, right. And 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 then it comes back to what we're talking again. Yeah, right. About about the older generations and those in positions of authority and power. Yeah, creating the paradigm that we can all lock into and do that but it it doesn't exist you're right so then you've got this black economy that everybody's fought falling into you're right i know i know 100 percent the police like it the way it the way it is yeah right they're not interested in solving the problems status they're, quo makes yeah, money yeah they're interested in getting money they're interested in putting people in prison you understand i believe with the new legislation with regards to you can't go in and you can't go there we're actually very close to a police state very very close to a police state and second waves coming through yeah, yeah right as second wave comes through yeah 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 it will get the 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 enforcement is going to get the difference so i was arguing with some guy online and, and he says he's, and i said to him papers please what's you because because what's his name bill gates now wants a digital certificate to say you've had all your shots or you can't go to gym, you can't go for sport, you can't work, you can't travel. unless. So what's the difference between them and the Nazis with the gun asking for your papers, please? 
Yeah. I got told the Nazis had the army behind them. We haven't got the army. So I sent a lot of picture of the army on, on, on the streets in Manchester. In, yeah. in relation to giving advice to young people then, I had a guest on recently and he said there was some kids set up drug dealing. The Albanians showed up, took one of their eyeballs out. Yeah. How dangerous is drug dealing now versus how it was? <laughs> that all relates to the fall of communism. You yeah, right. And when, when, when the Berlin Wall down fell, fell down, and, and the fall of co communists went down, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. The influx of Eastern European weapons into this country, Tokarov's 7.6, yeah, yeah, eh, 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 Russian rifles, yeah, 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 right, right? You could get them for buttons, yeah, yeah, which sent the levels of violence up, yeah. But then, yeah, yeah, that also released a set, a, a set of criminals from Eastern Europe yeah, yeah, right, right, that just came across, across Europe. Now, them people had been under the regime, yeah, yeah, right? Them people had been under con conditions, yeah, yeah, right? And them people are ruthless, yeah? Albanians, yeah? Drug dealing now, yeah, is not for the faint of heart, yeah? Because if you want to be involved in drug deal, yeah, yeah, there's somebody that'll take your eye out yeah, 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 for that corner. Yeah, yeah, right. It's, it, it, it's, it's 10 times more violent. I wouldn't last five minutes now. Yeah, I wouldn't, I'd, I'd be shot sitting in the cafe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They wouldn't have, they, they wouldn't tolerate that now. You understand? They wouldn't tolerate somebody doing that. You'd just be killed. Yeah, right. Because people are being, people are being killed. Yeah, right. For 200 quid coke debts. 200 quid coke test he owed it. And, 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 and then the, the mentality of the young the young people watching these videos and, and, and the rap music and, and how they're being conditioned that that's the, the way to be you, you right I don't possess I don't profess to have the answers for that when I started doing my peace campaign and, and, and anti-gun campaign I can't be anti-gun campaign anymore because I pistol whipped somebody I'm a fucking hypocrite so what yeah I made a hypocritical act I pistol whipped somebody who threatened me family and I went to jail, I've done my time, get over it, yeah, right? But I can be a peace campaigner because it's, it's the murder, it's off, it's, it's off the charts. It's every, uh, listen, every day in London, somebody's stabbed dead, yeah, yeah right? I, I, I won't even move into the, 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 the uh, the biblical revelations about ki when children are killing the children in the streets. Yeah, yeah, right. That's what's happening. Yeah, right. And 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 the Met have lost the streets. They've lost the streets, bro. You get me? The, the Met, they 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 they're mopping up bits. Yeah, right. But they've lost the streets. And there's 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 a a, a breed now. Yeah, of kids. And I warned about this ten years ago when they were five and six. Yeah, right. Now they're fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and they're out there. Yeah, yeah, right. They've been sitting playing the PlayStations. If you mess about with them, yeah, 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 right. They'll put four in your face just to see you jump up in the air, yeah, and then go home and play the PlayStation. I won't lose a wink of sleep. Yeah, right. That's how desensitized some of them are. That's how dehumanized some of them are. Yeah, 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 right. And I'm not talking, I'm talking about a, 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 a Croxted, not a screen, not a screen, certain parts of Eintan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or it's it's not it's not a thing that's just a black affecting black kids yeah yeah it's the white kids yeah, yeah right what I call the underclass yeah yeah you got the working class you got the upper class you got the middle class you got the working class and then you got the underclass people that that life on benefits yeah 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 yeah, yeah. mum and dad smackheads no school no nothing yeah 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 benefits street whatever you want to call it yeah right but they're out there. They're out there doing what they're doing with with that, with that lack of education, yeah, yeah, right, and just extremely violent, yeah, yeah, right. So, in answer to your que question, yeah, I believe that drug dealing now is ten times more violent, yeah, 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 right. There's there's ten times more murder, yeah, yeah, right. There's only a fraction 
of the money. They're not making the money that what we made. You get me? Somebody did a survey, yeah, and it turns out the average drug dealer earns less than the guy at McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. If you if you do a pro rata, or yeah, 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 because there's some people making making a lot a lot of the money. Yeah, right. But then I also know, like the conspiracies that that you know that Bill Clinton, yeah, is bringing all the coke in, selling it. Yeah, then jailing the street sellers prolifically, and it's 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 that's where I focus my attention. Yeah, yeah, on 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 the ones that are controlling the levers of power and what they're doing. Yeah, yeah right. And I really hope that Donald Trump's on the level and he's draining that swamp because we need somebody to drain our swamp here. Yeah, because because um, um, Boris believes the working class are fickle. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they've got illegitimate, stupid children. Yeah, right, right. That are feckless and lazy. They're listening, sorry, the, uh, was it the Listener magazine? He wrote it in it, 1994. Spectator wrote it in the, in, in, in the Spectator. His views ain't changed. He doesn't care about old people. Yeah, yeah. He sold the post office in, in North Islington to his friend to 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 develop it in, into flats. It was the post office in North England, Islington where all the old days used to go and cash the pensions. Now they've got to go miles and miles away because he flogged the post, post office to his mate for the bung. Yeah, you're right. Now, there's no evidence of that, but that's what they do. That's how they operate and that's how they work. So, I'm, 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 I'm operating from a grassroots level. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not uh, uh, connected into the system that way. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm trying to solve the problems from a lower level. When I first started doing the work, I thought that I could save everybody. You can't. I only focus on those kids that are looking for a, for an exit strategy. Yeah, yeah, right. And we can provide them with the work that we do and the stuff that we do. We can provide them with an exit strategy. Yeah, right. They just got to come away from the gang life. Yeah, yeah, right. Because eighty percent of them. Are just following, yeah, yeah. Fifteen percent of them, yeah, yeah are, are, are in there for money, and then you got a five percent, five percent of the nutters that just like the violence and that lifestyle, yeah, 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 and are, are the ones that I looked up to. So, with regards to all that stuff, Sean, I don't have the answers. Yeah, I'm just trying to do. I'm just. I'm on a journey of atonement for myself. I'm trying to do do something from my own perspective, and I'm not asking help from nobody. Yeah, right. I'm doing it off my own back, and I got pretty close last time. Yeah, right, right. And I'm a pretty driven guy. Yeah, yeah, with um, with a lot of contacts and, and capabilities. Yeah, and I'm going to give it another go, and we'll see what happens. It's great. It's great that you're in such a positive place after going through everything you've been through. There's um, I've got a question about a Liverpool character that's just baffled me. Okay. And um, when I was a kid, he used to show up in my town with us. I start feeling my mate's muscles and okay. jumping on the backs and stuff. Okay. I was in Arizona for 17 years, come back, and he's on the front page of the fucking newspaper, yeah. still doing the same shit. Yeah. Are you able to talk about Aki and say what, how he's got away with this for so long? Aaron Akabiki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I say about Aaron Akabiki, yeah, right, is it's a, it's a racial slur to call him purple. Yeah, yeah, right. And, and, and it's, become, it's become known, yeah, what happened on the railway tracks? Yeah, right. Somebody died. I don't know the ins and outs of it. I know I can have a Yeah, yeah. I know him personally. Yeah, yeah, right. And I asked him the question. I asked him, "Are you gay?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you like to feel muscles? Yeah, yeah. Eh, 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 eh. I can have a bihi. Said no, he isn't gay, and I believe him. Yeah, uh, and uh, he likes the male aesthetics. He likes bodybuilding shows and the male aesthetics. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of chat and talk about him. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. And there's no two ways about it. He has felt muscles up. Yeah, right. But also, yeah, right, right. He was vilified as a bogeyman. Yeah, right. This isn't me, 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 me 
condoning any of the allegations against them. I'm just saying I've had allegations made against me that are not true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I've asked the man, I've sat as closely as I am with you, and I've asked, I said to him, I, I don't know, what's it all about, lad? Yeah, yeah, you're right. All this stuff and that that I'm hearing about, yeah. Yeah, because... I can have a beaky for me personally. Police officer Marcus Coast stopped me in Operation Town Safe, which was, was to stop a flow of contraband through the Mersey Tunnel. Yet, yeah, right, the random stopping of vehicles. When I got stopped four times in a week, I questioned the random nature of it. Yeah, 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 right. We ended up having a fight. We ended up having a fight. They ended up arresting me for stealing my own laptop because I put my laptop in the, in, in, in the boot. Yeah, yeah. He, Marcus Coase and, 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 and Sergeant Rohan, Sergeant Rohan pulled me in the van by the ears and nearly ripped my ears off. Yeah, right. A, a, a thug in a uniform. Still in a uniform today. Yeah, right. A racist thug in a uniform that works a, 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 on the Wirral. When, when um, Norman Betterson closed down the Operation Support Group, which was the boot boys for the police, he closed it down. Yeah, yeah, right. Working out of St. Sands. They all got sent over to the Wirral. Yeah, right. So every time I was going home, it was like, it was like crossing the border for me. You understand? Um, Marcus Coast said, I beat him so bad, karate his ass, yeah, that he was off work for two weeks. Now, now, it happened on a Friday. It happened on a Friday night. The incident happened on a Friday night. Aaron Akabichi done research for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And found that on the Saturday, Marcus Coase played rugby for New Brighton. <laughs> and the powerful Marcus Coase run down the wing and scored a try. I'm charged. I'm in Crown Court. Yeah, 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 right. I'm charged with police assault, stealing my own laptop and something else. And I'm in the back of the court like that. I'm laughing, yeah, because I prepared my own brief. A monkey could have won this case, yeah, yeah, right? So I got this bad, I said, I'm sitting, I prepared my own brief, this is what you're going to do, yeah? My old evidence, Marcus Coast is, is in the uh, in the dock, and he said, Mr. Fens beat me up, I was off work, I was this, I was that, and the other. And then, me, me barrister comes to him, and as he comes to him, he sees the logo, there's a logo like that, but it's the three feathers of, of the Prince of Wales Group. So he knows what it is. And I watch him start to sway. And we make him read out the match report from the dock. And he says, the powerful Marcus Coase ran down the wing and scored a try. Yeah, the judge goes to him. Aren't you Marcus Coast? No, Your Honor. That's not me. <laughs> yeah. Denied his own name. Yeah, he denied his own name. I burst out laughing in the court. Yeah, the judge goes to me, what do you find funny, Mr. French? Yeah, I said, him, he's got the colour of boiled shite. Yeah, yeah, he's Marcus Coast. That's him. Yeah, yeah, you need to stop this trial now. Yeah, yeah, and he did. Yeah, the trial was stopped. Yeah, yeah. didn't get found not guilty, didn't it? The trial was stopped because of the rebuttal evidence. And Aaron Akabihi, it, it, it provided me with that information. Yeah, yeah, right. When anybody ever speaks to me and they say to me, you know Purple Lackey, I say to them, his name's not Purple Lackey. Because they call him Purple, as in an aubergine. You're that black, you're purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a racist slay. Yeah, yeah. He's had a hard time uh, upbringing in care. Yeah, yeah, right. His, 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 his love for the aesthetics of the male body is his own affair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever happened on the railway where the kid died, yeah, 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 made the made the young man rest in peace. I don't know what happened, yeah, but I know that that the uh, um, he got a sex asbo without ever even being convicted of a sex offence. They put it on him for two years, and he used to write to the chief constable. At, at, his, at his home. The chief constable got him done for, for harassment. They kept him in prison for the year. Yeah, yeah. And I think he's had a quarter of a million out of them yeah, in payments because of, of the illegal things that they've done to him. So there's a whole other side to what goes on with, 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 with uh, Akin Arabihi. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's one of the only guys that I have to look up to because he's huge, mate. He is a very, very big. He is a very, very big, big, big guy. The interesting fact is, is how I first came across him was was he felt my nephew's muscles. Yeah, yeah. He felt my nephew's muscles, and I had to, I had to interview him over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I, 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 that it wasn't the done done thing. And to stay away from my family, and and, and if if it happens again, there'd be problems. Yeah, you're right. So I know he does that, and I don't condone that. Yeah, yeah, right. But I don't. I also don't condone the vilification that he's taken. Yeah, on on what's happened to him. Yeah, yeah, right. And I know I know there's a family in Birkenhead who's lost. There's a girl I've watched. I've watched videos of her who lost a boyfriend. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I feel her pain. Yeah, because I've lost my brother to murder. Yeah, so I've, I've, I feel their pain. Yeah, right. And I don't excuse him f for doing that, for for what his involvement in was that. But he never went to prison for that. Yeah, right. I don't know what the story was. Yeah, right. And you get, and I, I don't know. So at the risk of everybody saying, yeah, because you're a pedo like him, I can have a be his my friend. I consider Akin Arabiki a friend. I've questioned him about his portions. Yeah, right. And what he's on on what he's doing. Yeah. I, I, he says he's admitted that he feels muscles. Yeah. He admits that he goes to, to, to the bodybuilding uh, 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 shows. Yeah. He tells me he's never had sex with a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tells me, I think, I think at that time when I spoke to him, he was a virgin. Yeah, he told me he was a virgin. Yeah, 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 right. And I hope he doesn't mind me saying that because what I'm speaking now, yeah, right, I'm going against the whole grain of Liverpool and I get a lot of comments for this and I know I will. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. And I'll say he's my friend. Yeah, he's my friend, right, because I've been vilified like a monster. I've been put out there as the bogeyman. Yeah, 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 yeah. As a snitch and nonsense. And none of it was true. Yeah, you're right. I do know that he likes the male aesthetics. He likes going to watch bodybuilding shows. Yeah. And I do know that that at times he's taken that too far. And I've took him to task over that. And I've told him, you've got to pack that behavior in and you can't be doing that to people. And I don't, I, he, he, he'll, t he'll, he'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah, right. But then, you know, we've had a leader of the country that was throwing boys off a boat. Yeah, yeah, right. And and, and, and we still hail him as, as, as a great person. So. There's two sides to every 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 story, yeah, right. So my my personal thing about Akin Arabihi, yeah, yeah, right, right, is he's being used as a bogeyman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of racial stuff behind it. Yeah, right. But he's his own worst enemy with 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 stalking boys and, and feeling the muscles. Because it it appears that that's true. Yeah, he felt my friend's muscles. Yeah. But he also um was hanging out with my mate Wildman, who was my co-defendant, the big guy. And Wildman said he was in a situation in my hometown and there was a load of lads against him and Aki intervened and saved him. So obviously there is this other side to Aki. Do you, do you think Aki would come on to give his side? I can ask him for you. Yeah. I can ask, listen, I can I can get hold of him and I can ask him for you. Where did he, where did he will? I, I, I can't say yeah 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 but i i think i think it would be a great idea i think he'd give you a great show yeah right right uh, uh, um but he's got he's got it he's got difficult questions because i asked him the difficult question sean i said what is it with you and the muscles mate sit like I, I am with you in his flat in a um, sunny side yeah 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 what is it because when he came out of prison, I'd go and see him and give him money. Yeah, 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 right. Because Atkins always helped me. Yeah, right. Because he's got a fine legal brain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know how he gets into the judges' rooms and gets on the judges' phones. I don't know how he was doing all that. Yeah, 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 right, right. But he also knows a lot about them judges. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, right. And he also like feeling muscles and going a bit further. Yeah. I've got to be careful. Yeah. Not to sound 
like I, I support sexual invasion of anybody because I don't. You understand? I don't. Yeah, right. And I, I, I don't forgive him for it. I've told him about it. Told him it's got to stop. And I've spoke, I've spoke to him about it. But I also know he's vilified for a lot of stuff that that he doesn't do. Yeah, 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 right. He's helped me. He's never done nothing wrong to me. Yeah, and I've got no problem saying he's my friend. In spite of of the muscle feeling and and the aesthetics, because I've heard he's, he's trapped somebody in a chair and he's bummed him, and I've heard all kind of things about him. I and I've asked him about that. He's denied that stuff to me. There was one kid. Who's the kid? Where he was, he, he says uh, he had him in the courtroom. I was was lifting him or squatting him or something and rubbing himself on him. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about that. I don't. I really don't know about that. And, and, and if I was him and it wasn't true, I'd come on and answer those questions. Yeah, if I was him and I wasn't true, right? right and if 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 he's, if he's got a refusal to come on and explain those difficult questions, because I know you'd ask him them. I know you would ask him them the difficult questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then that only lends itself to other people's thinking because I've come on and been asked the difficult questions. What is it about the, the non-stuff, Stephen? What is it about the grass stuff, Stephen? What is it about you, you raping the kids, Stephen? And I've come on and I've answered the questions fully and frankly, yeah, right, because they're not true. So if this stuff isn't true about Akin, like he's saying it isn't true, come and answer the questions. You, you've got an invite, yeah? Come and answer the questions, yeah, you're right, and put your side uh, 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 of the events. If you don't, yeah, 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 right, 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 well, then people are entitled to believe that you can't answer those questions and there's, there's more likely this true. I know I get a lot of flack for what I've said in, in terms of in terms of actually saying Aaron Akabik is a friend of mine. Yeah, I haven't seen him for years. Yeah, we had a little falling out over, 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 over a, a lad that we both know. But I'll make contact with him, yeah, right? And and, and, and he'll see this, you're right? And um, um, I'm not pro is activity because there's there is some smoke to that fire. I know from my own nephew, your nephew, there is some smoke to that fire. Yeah, you're right. That's behavior that he has to arrest and stop. Yeah, because it's unacceptable. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it leads to all, all the problems here. Whether he whether he's homosexual and being raping boys, I don't believe that. I don't I honestly don't believe that. Yeah. Because is there anybody that's actually said he's raped them? Not that I know. Yeah, well, he, he did do why. Yeah, yeah, right. He did, he did why. Something about the chair. Something about the chair. So, something about it. I've heard a story about a chair. Yeah, right, right. But um, um, he's being used as a bogeyman. Yeah, he's being used as a bogeyman. And and he was in care himself. Yeah, 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 right. He's a very intelligent, articulate guy. But he's a scary as fuck. He is a scary guy physically to look at yeah right because of his size and because of how dark he is you, you, you're right but everywhere you see it you, right right it's paper lucky paper lucky paper lucky, and it's it's a racial slay yeah to call him paper lucky is a racial slay it's it shouldn't be allowed yeah you, you, right and it shouldn't be allowed to just to appear in in, in stuff about him and, and I'd love him to come on your show and answer the questions. I'd love him to come on the show and you to put the difficult questions to him. Yeah, you're right. So we, because and, and then you can ask him. You can ask him. You can say, Stephen set it up. Stephen said he, he asked you is he he asked you in your flat. Yeah, right. Because everything I'm saying to you, I'm aware it's going to go out. So I'm aware that, I've, that 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 if I'm telling lies about anybody, I'm going to be in trouble. You understand? So I've I've spoke to him about that. Yeah, and because he's helped me. Yeah, you're right. And because I choose to believe that that he likes bodybuilding shows and got an issue with touching muscles, which he needs to sort out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if he does this, I can I I haven't spoken to him for a while, but I've always been friendly with him. Is 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 the better way to put it. Yeah. And if I seen him, I would say hello to him and I would stop and I would talk to him. Yeah, and I would ask, I would ask him how he's getting on and what's what's going on with him because he's being vilified. Yeah, you're right. Is there some justification to his to his vilifying? I have to say yes. 
I have to say yes because uh, I've got a nephew that 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 didn't like getting his arm touched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I have to accept that that's true. I have to accept that that's true. Yeah, yeah, right, right. And I also have to accept that that's un unacceptable. Yeah. But it doesn't make him a rapist of men. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't make him a rapist of men. Yeah, yeah, right. I don't know what I don't know I don't know what it makes him. I know the behavior is unacceptable, and I think your idea of inviting him to a podcast is, is excellent. And if I can facilitate that, I will. Have you ever tried to get him on? So wild man, because he's got this relationship with him from years ago. Yeah, I think he's working on something because we got the Liverpool studio as well. Yeah. But nothing, nothing's been said yet. Has he spoke to him? No, but he's got a guy, an intermediary, I think. I can find him. I okay. Can, I, 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 can, I can find him. It, um, he's a very contrary guy. I can, I can. He'll say no for the sake of no. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to endeavour to persuade him too. Because I'd like, you know, for them to to answer those questions, yeah, yeah, in, in this kind of setting, yeah, yeah, right, because one of the things with the podcast and what I, what I've done and what a lot of people have picked up picked up on, yeah, right, is you don't have to remember when you're telling the truth, yeah, yeah, right? you only have to remember lies, yeah, 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 right. So people have said to me, yeah, Stephen, you can see you're telling the truth, the sh truth shining out of me, yeah. What I did notice, yeah, right, and this came from the smack on the head, is I've, I've developed a, a, a stammer and a stutter. I never had that before I got whacked on the head. This is another result of being falsely accused of rape. It's left me with a speech impediment. Yeah. So, so there's, there's and I'll, I'll finish on this. There's, there's that, I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on massive men accused of serious sexual incidents falsely. Yeah. Combined, yeah, yeah, right, with momentum work with with young people that want to be saved, yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to save everybody that want and that want to be directed into education, training, entrepreneur stuff. Yeah, right. We'll set up programs for them. We 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 we've got an interesting. Uh, uh, it's going to be an interesting five years. Yeah, yeah, right. I always. You remember Joseph Stalin? Yeah. Well, forget what he did to the Kulaks for the second. Yeah, yeah, right. And think about his five-year plans, his five-year industrial plans. He took he took Russia from the uh, an agricultural uh, society into an industrial power by the nature of his five-year plans. I'm not condoning what he did to his own people because he killed more people than Saddam Hussein and Adolf Hitler put together. What I'm saying is 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 I do five-year plans. I I worked a five year plan to, to to make something something and I gave I gave actually gave I did the book started the book two thousand two A's I gave myself to two thirteen to get the movie made and we were in Cannes in two twelve I had a, a movie script uh, done yeah right and then I had my incident in Liverpool City Centre running around like a madman with a machete and a fake gun yeah yeah and ended up in prison I'm the other side of that Sean yeah 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 and I'm gonna have another go yeah I'm gonna have another go yeah right. Of of visualizing my dream, yeah, and doing that, and to to wind it up, is the anything that you would like to ask me? The only la last question I've got then is because you said you had dealings with Curtis Warren. Yeah, how's he doing now? M me and Curtis have got a, a very strained relationship. Yeah, Curtis Warren was the one that started the rumour about me being a snitch. Yeah, yeah. E e e e because of something that happened in London. Yeah. E e e e I was with two guys. One was one's dead. One, one's my brother and one one was dead. The guy that the guy that was dead was the guy that made the statements. I never made no statements. Yeah. E e well, that statement would have been online now, but I explained what happened to Curtis, yeah, right, because we got arrested and we got out. And I explained to him, it was a Ben Copper called DCI Alec Lindsay. If he's still working, yeah, he won't be a DCI Alec Lindsay now, 
but he was a bent policeman yeah who tried to get me to give evidence against somebody else yeah i said to him that i would yeah right got out of prison and he never saw me again yeah um, he tried to get me to make a statement i wouldn't make a statement he put the lad in my cell who made a statement yeah 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 which he wasn't supposed to do that's when i knew he was a bent copper that's when i knew i could get out yeah and i got out of the situation i wrote about that in the book very clearly so so Cos Curtis is, is, is a, con a convicted cocaine dealer. That's why I actually used his name in the book, yeah, right? Because all, all of the names were changed, dates and times and places were changed, yeah, right? And my solicitor read the book before anybody else, so I couldn't be prosecuted over it, yeah, yeah, right? So, so everybody was given a different name other than him because he'd been um, found guilty. Of, of of doing drugs, yeah, 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 yeah. And our lives have intertwined and, and come out. And Curtis and uh, uh, Curtis was friends with Andrew John, yeah. And Curtis and his crew, yeah, 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 was always trying to split me and Andrew up because we were a threat to their power. You understand? Yeah, right. And and they never trusted me, yeah, right? Because they always thought I was going to rip them off. Yeah, yeah, right. And I wasn't. I would have been part of the team. Yeah, 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 right. But I had a reputation for that. Yeah, I had a reputation for stealing the drugs. Yeah, yeah. But what people don't know, yeah, yeah right, is, is people that I work with, I never fucked over. Yeah, unless they fucked me over first. Yeah, so we went to the same uh, uh, junior school. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, sorry, senior school, St. Martin's. He was a couple of years below, be, below me. Yeah, yeah. When I was when I was eleven, George Osu, yeah, used to make me get through windows and screw houses. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So when I was too big for that, I used to make cases do that. Yeah, yeah. It was a rite of passage. It happened to us all. I didn't invent it. You understand? He 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 went off to to do he went to prison, I went to do one of the and then we came back, we, we came back together again. Yeah, yeah, right. And 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 everything that we did is in the book. Yeah, yeah, right. And we made a lot of money. And and I spoke to him on the phone about the book. Yeah, yeah. And he told me he's got no problems with me. I said I, I've I've got no problems with you either. And, and I've said to him, if you'd ever want to write a book, yeah, yeah, right, or do anything, yeah, yeah let me be your agent because I'll, I'll I'll put you into the right people. I don't think Curtis will ever do that, right? Because he, one thing I will say about Curtis, he's old school, yeah, right? And he doesn't talk to the police. Does, he, 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 there's no hint or whisper or or anything of him being a snitch because he's, he's got to be about 50, 56, 55, 56. Yeah, he's done 30 years jail. Snitches don't do that much prison. Do you understand? Because some people try to say he did this and he did that. He had a lot of problems with the Irish and he had a lot of problems with the Colombians. Yeah, 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 right. They seem to have settled themselves down because he's been in prison so long. Yeah, 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 right. They put another, um, um, what's that when they take your money off? Yeah. Oh, asset forfeiture. Yeah, for, seizure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Saying, saying to him, we've got to pay this amount of money or do more prison. He's doing more prison, but he's due all many time. Is he? Yeah, he's due all many time. Which prison is he in? He was in. He was on Jersey the last time I heard. I don't know where he is now. He was in a prison in Jersey. I don't know where he is now. Yeah, yeah right. We 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 don't really keep contact. Yeah, yeah, right. He was family. He was family to my ex-wife. Yeah, he was family to my ex-wife, and we knew each other from school. Yeah, right, right. But it's 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 he's in prison. I'm not. The passage of time. Yeah, if I seen him, I'd speak to him. If you see me, it's, uh, he, he speak to me. Yeah, right. There's there's a begrudging acrimony. Yeah, right. Because I actually talk about him in the book. He is the one. I've got a nickname called the Longfella, and it was him that gave me the nickname the Longfella. When somebody say. Because he was talking to a friend of mine, he said, Oh, do you see the long fella? Yeah, that was my name. Yeah, and I used to have three samurai swords in, in my window. 
Yeah, and he told somebody, yeah, I know where Frenchy lives. He's got the three samurai swords in, in his window. And that's when I thought to myself, why do you, why are you talk, talking to people about where I live? Yeah, yeah, right. So there was always a friction with us. You get me? There was always a friction with us. The problem that he had with me, yeah, yeah, the real problem that he had had with me is, is um, he couldn't fight like me. You understand? He couldn't fight like me. He was smart and he could do, do, do all that, but he wasn't as violent or, or as that me. And he didn't know when I was going to pop or I, when I was going to go. So he tried to get Andrew, Andrew to turn against me. Yeah, uh, but it didn't work. It didn't work. And An Andrew died, and then I ca came out of jail. Yeah, right. Came out of jail, and then you got Curtis and all Andrew's big money friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's got a wooden cross, mate. You get me? He's got some poxy little wooden cross. Yeah. Uh, so me and a lad called Johnny Riley. Yeah, 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 yeah. We started a kitty. Yeah, and we, we got up to about 10,000 10, pounds we paid for Andrew's monument. Yeah, which would be about maybe, maybe, maybe 150, maybe 200 grand now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that was like 30 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 sorry. Maybe 50 grand now. Yeah, something like that. That, 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 that we, and I can't have to come out of jail and do that. And then all these guys that were being whispered in his ear and, and, and doing that, when it's time to bury him and pay some money on him. When when we started doing it, then he started wanting to come around and put money in and I told him to fuck off. I said, me and Johnny will do it. Yeah, we don't want your fucking money. We'll do it. And Johnny Johnny and me paid for it. Johnny was a very good friend of mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He listened to the shit about, to, to Curtis and, and Curtis's mates about me being a snitch and that. Yeah, 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 right. And he sided with them. Johnny had a nice garage. They ended up taking that off him. And he seen them for what they were in the end. Yeah, yeah, right. Just, just money hungry guys. Curtis could have revitalized the black community. Yeah, 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 right. But he'd make us buy off him. Yeah. And lay on the white boys. You know what lay on is? Yeah, yeah. Well. No. Laying on is when is when you get the drugs free. You get mm. these drugs to sell them, yeah, and then you can pay for the money. Okay. Yeah, that's called laid on, yeah, right. He wouldn't lay anything on us. We had to pay. Mm. So, he, 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 and he'd give them tens and twenties and he'd make us buy one or two of them. Yeah, you know, he, he'd let us buy one and give us one on strap, if I remember right. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, um, I've got no animosity towards him, yeah, yeah, right. I don't think he's got any animosity to, towards me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The books, 12, 13 years old now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he's been in prison most of that time. Yeah. I spoke to him on the phone about the book because somebody told me he had a problem when I got hold of his number and I spoke with him and he said, no, you, you're, doing, you're doing what you're doing. It's not my style. You do what you're doing. Happy days. And he knows, he knows I'm not a snitch. Even though we put it out to him because he used to save me. You understand? And if he, if he thought I was a snitch for a minute, he would never have he would never have saved me. And he used to save me himself. You understand? Yeah, yeah, right. So so all I ever wanted as a young when I was when yeah, was to be on that crew. Because that was the money crew, mate. That was the that was they they that was the money crew. Yeah. Um, and most of his crew, and, 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 and Tony Bray, the, Micah Hain, and uh, uh, did you remember Elmer? Elmer something, the, the copper, I can't remember a second name. They all, they all ended up going to prison, didn't they? So, yeah, I think that's about a wrap, isn't it? You've been very generous with your time, Stephen. We've gone over that? three hours. Have we? Is there anything you want to say in conclusion to the people watching this? Yeah. When I mean, you give some powerful stories, you listen, give a good listen, moral listen, message listen. to the kids. Listen, listen. Listen. Yeah, you're right. I'm very... Uh, 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 I'd rather help than hinder. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. And I'm very easy to get hold of on social media. Yeah, you're right. Any young fellas, anybody that having a problem and they want to speak to me, yeah, yeah, you can inbox me and, and I'll we're, get... We're going to put all of Stephen's links below this video. Yeah. So if you're on Instagram, yeah. Facebook, Twitter, no, I whatever... Do, I do, I do listen to this. Talk, so 
I'll finish, I'll finish off with this. Get right. Why do I love social media? So in 2000 and 2000 and 2000 and say 2010 or something like that. Get right. After the, after the Danny Dyer stuff. Get right. Right. There's six Twitter accounts. There's six Facebook accounts. There's six Instagram accounts, all in the name of Stephen French, and none of them are my, none of them are me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Saying things that I would never say. Yeah. So I came on social media to set the record straight. Yeah, yeah. And I do Facebook. I don't do Twitter. I do Facebook because I like Facebook. Yeah, right. I don't do Instagram. Yeah, right. And I answer me comments on my own page. Um, uh, uh, um. There's a guy on on Twitter doing a no context site it's a, it's a parody site yeah yeah yeah, yeah right and he's got 14,000 followers yeah yeah he got 14,000 followers and it puts and I didn't know that it was a so I contacted him and said uh, Twitter and said but it's allowed then I seen his content so I contacted him and I wished him the best of luck of doing it because he actually says I'm not Stephen French yeah and it's a it's a parody I've got a sense of humor yeah, yeah, right. You you can have a laugh and a joke with me, but you can't tell me that I'm a rapist and I'm a nonce and a grass because I'm not. Right. But you, but but eh, 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 there's 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 about there's hundreds of TikToks of me. Yeah. There's a girl put a face on put my face on her body doing this crazy dance and it's hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious. So I'm just a normal fella. Yeah, I'm just a normal fella. With fighting spirit. Yeah, yeah. I've got a lot of fighting spirit. Yeah. And I want to do some good. Yeah. I want to do some I've done enough bad. Yeah. I want to do some good. And this is this is this is my message. Yeah, right, right to anybody. Just leave me alone. Yeah. Leave me family alone. Leave me alone. If you don't like me and you think I'm full of shit, that's your opinion. You're entitled to it. Yeah, right. Because opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. Yeah, right. Let me do me. You do you, yeah, you're right. If if you're interested in me, yeah, you're right. And if you think I can do something for you to help you, yeah, I, I'm 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 easy to get hold of, and I'll be delighted to. It's like you got hold of me, yeah. You asked me, boom, boom, and here I am, yeah, right. My benefit, your benefit. So if I, I put it put it into to a good sound bite, yeah, yeah, I'll put down my guns. I've put down my knives. Nobody's going to tempt me by sending me stupid messages and calling me names to make the same mistakes that I've, I've made. Yeah. When I was doing the anti-gun campaign and stuff, yeah, yeah, right, and I sat wide open and pistol whipped somebody with, with a gun, I got took to the brink and went over. Yeah, right. Now I know when I'm getting close to the brink not to do it. So there's nobody better than me to talk about it. There's nobody better than me because I've been an anti-gun campaigner. I fucked it up with a hypocritical act by pistol whipping somebody. Yeah. Now, yeah, right. I've been getting provoked, provoked, and provoked, and provoked. Yeah. Now, now I know how to handle it because I'm not on cocaine. Yeah, yeah. Therapy work work wonder, wonder for me. And look at me, Sean. Look at me. I know I'm. I know how healthy I look. You know. I know how well I look. Yeah, and and that's because I'm living clean, I'm living right, and I'm and I'm I've, I've, I love to fight, I love to fight, but I found a new arena to fight in. Yeah, civil litigation. I don't use the police. Yeah, the police are useless. Yeah, right. But if you slander me, if you come on, see, see, if you call me names now, yeah, right. Well, 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 that's slander. If you write it down, yeah, right, it's liable. Yeah, right, and I'll put you in court. You get me? If you say something about me on my page that's not true, yeah, right, and I can identify you, yeah, I won't send the police to you, yeah, right? I'll sue you for 10 grand. You, you'll cost you 10 grand to defend yourself against me, yeah, right? So, so, so that's my new way of fighting, yeah, yeah right? Doesn't make me a snitch using the courts. It makes me defending myself. This is me finishing shot. It's beautiful and it's just come to me. When I was in prison, I did I did a course called Resolve. Resolve teaches you to challenge your core beliefs. My core belief, Sean, was that that I could do anything to defend my family, my my friends and my family, including murder. 
Yeah, you fuck about with me too much, yeah, right? And I'll take your head off your shoulders. I'll chop you till your head falls off. Yeah, yeah, and I've got that in me. Okay. I've now changed that core belief that I can do anything I want to protect me and my family as long as I stay within the realms of English law because I'm not going back to prison for anybody. There's a caveat to that, yeah? And the caveat, the caveat is my daughters. You understand? Yeah? Try anything with my daughters because of me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and my martial arts master had over 5,000 students all together, yeah? And he chose me to have his, his, his katana, his samurai sword, yeah, right? Because I'm a modern day samurai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll shove that samurai sword in you, yeah, and then shove it in myself because I'm not going to jail forever. Yeah, right. But stay away from me and my family because I'm still the same guy. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Now, now, it takes nothing. See, I, I can do it with them. Yeah, it takes nothing to do that and it takes nothing to do that. Yeah, yeah, right. It takes some courage to do that. Yeah, right. That's not what I want. Yeah, yeah, right. I don't want that for myself. I don't want that for anybody else. Yeah, right. You can attack and say anything you want about me and I'll be watered off, off a duck's back. Leave me children and my grandchildren out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can do that, see, I've had to isolate myself from my family. Yeah, right, because people make threats. When they can't get to me, they make threats against my family. Yeah, 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 right. So, so now, my family doesn't live in Liverpool. I don't live in Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's there's there's, there's an, an undercurrent mentality in Liverpool of 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 horridness, just 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 horrible for horrible sake, yeah. And I don't know what it is, and I don't know whether it's it's just symptomatic to Liverpool, but I, I, I see a very prevalence in Liverpool. I call it envy and jealousy, yeah, right? Because I've been stalked by envy and jealousy my whole life, yeah, yeah right? Because I'm a slick. Yeah, yeah. And and I know I am. You understand? I actually know how slick I am. Yeah, right. And I'm not saying that look at me. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big headed yet, right? I know who I am, what I've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my chosen sport, I was a world champion. Yeah. In my chosen profession, yeah, yeah, yeah. Old school G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody in the country knows who I am. Everybody in the country knows what I did. Yeah, yeah. And before the books or the TV or anything like that, yeah, the reputation was justified. Yeah. When I stopped doing everything and stopped filing everybody, everybody said, oh, he's lost his bottle. He's lost his bottle. This is gone. That, that, that's gone. Ask that guy a pistol whipped. Yeah, if my bottle's gone. You understand? But I don't want that for myself. Yeah. So my new core belief is I can defend myself and my family by any means necessary as long as I stay within the realms of English law. And that's what I'm going to do. If you mess about with me, I'm going to sue you. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to go to the police and make a statement. I'm just going to put you straight in court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, pay the court fees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sue you. Yeah, yeah, right. And then you'll have a judgment against your name or you'll have to, you have, you have to pay the money. Yeah, right. Because you want to come and fuck about with me. Just leave me alone. Let me do what I'm doing. Yeah. I enjoy my social media. Yeah, yeah. And I would just like to say, I've embraced, I've put down hatred. I've put down darkness. I've put down despair. And I've embraced love, light, and hope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I'm hopeful about the future. I'm hopeful that I can help people. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that 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 good will overcome evil. That all the nonsense will be exposed. That what they're trying to do will fall flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. and that and that the societies will return to the people who they're supposed to be, and we'll finally get some decent people. Eh, 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 Running, running the governments because it's just coming very clear, isn't it, Sean? That they're just bent. Yeah, yeah right. And eh, 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 it's obvious, and, and it's obvious to anybody that's free thinking. Yeah, yeah, right. 
what they're up to. Yeah, right. And there's got to be a change. And as you know, yeah, yeah, change never comes from the top. It comes from the bottom up. And and that's where I'm working. And I'm a man with the same mentality I've always had. Yeah. I've just put down my weapons. I've got I've got new weapons. And these we're using these weapons. I can't go to prison. Yeah. I didn't like prison show. Didn't like it. Hated every minute of it. Yeah. If anyone says Frenchy couldn't do his jail, I say, yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, yeah. Right. Because I hated every minute of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone that says they can do jail spinning on the dick is a liar or a madman. Yeah, right. Because when that door closes, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, at seven o'clock at night, yeah, yeah, you're there on your own till your next month. And they starve, yeah. Yeah. If you don't have somebody sending your money in prison, yeah, 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 you're gonna starve. So a life in drugs, one one percent might get through and get the other side rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One percent of the people that that do might get through. Yeah, yeah. Eighty percent, yeah, yeah, are gonna end up in jail. Yeah, yeah. And the other nineteen percent are gonna end up dead. You understand? And to be in that one percent, you've got to have a last name, Bush or Clinton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but see, see, people think all oh, think that's conspiracy and it's not. They're waking up to it now. You think? Oh yeah. It's common now that to finance that war in Nicaragua, the CIA was bringing the coke in, which caused the crack epidemic. L listen, listen, you know that and I know that, yeah, right? And I follow a, a, a American culture. A lot of the American people are not having it. There's always going to be some if just trust authority and trust the government. Yeah. Well, man, this has got to be one of the most powerful podcasts we've ever done. And one of the longest. Yeah, yeah. Really appreciate you spending this much time look, with us, look, Stephen. Look. To me, yeah, you're right. To me, it seems like five minutes. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah, right. Because you've got me to talk about stuff that I wasn't going to talk about. Yeah, yeah, right. But just for the new audience, yeah, right. Because everybody likes the the the, the, the blood and guts stuff, yeah. And I un, I un, I understand that, yeah, yeah, right. That's not where I'm at now. You understand, yeah, yeah, right. And I just wanted this, yeah, right. That's why I put my Liverpool red on. You understand, yeah, right. Because do you know who won the Premiership? Do you know who won the Premiership? <laughs> that would be us. Yeah, I'm going to send you one more photograph of one of my more fr or my other friends. Because the last time we won it, John Barnes was playing for Liverpool. And I'll send you the photograph of, him, of me and him shaking hands when we won it 30 years ago, when he came to open the barbers on Granby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because these are individuals that I know. These are the, oh yeah. Well, I've just, just, Ray Leonard. I met Ray Leonard, yeah, Sugar Ray Leonard, yeah, right, and I sent you the photograph of it, yeah, and I told Ray Leonard that Marvin Hagler beat him, yeah, right, and I've got a picture for it, and I've sent it to you, yeah, 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 right, because I know these people, yeah, right, I didn't really, was friends with Ray, I was friends with Evander Holyfield, and I was fr I'm friends with Mike Tyson, yeah, yeah, right, and, and, and if, if we do, if we do, if we get, stitched the documentary off and we get the people involved that we want to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mike's considering, yeah, yeah, telling his story, yeah, and telling his story to me because Mike can't be in this program because he's a convicted rapist. He's actually a convicted rapist, but those in the know know that he never raped Desiree Washington, know, know, know that it was a dumb... A, a dunking stitch up to get control of Mike, Mike Tyson because Mike Tyson didn't have to rape anybody. You understand? Desiree Washington got a $20 million and she disappeared, went up there with no knickers on and took a tampon on and she got raped. Come on, man. Let's have it real. Mike, Mike um, um, had this attitude. He had the wrong attitude when he went into court. I'm Mike Tyson. I don't have to fucking rape anybody. I don't wanna, yeah. Instead of being humble and go and saying, look, this girl's done this. Because what it also was is he fucked her and gave her the walk of shame. Yeah, he didn't even take her down to the car. You understand? Just And she's she walked down thinking, I've just been used. Yeah, yeah. And, and what, what way she can pay her back? So 
with the connections and, and contacts that I've got, you, you, right? If if I can make this this that that stitch program, which is a very good opportunity to to do that, and it's well received, and Mike sees the receivement of, of that, I can do Mike, I can do, I can do Mike Mike's story as a convicted rapist, wrongly convicted, yeah, and is it, it, and I think that would be a fantastic story because. He's also been vilified for the stuff that he, he, he he's done. I've been vilified, yeah. And to clarify, yeah, 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 yeah. So was Akin Arabihi, yeah, right, by calling him Purple yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what he has and what he hasn't done. I do know that that he, he's touched muscles and that, yeah, and he likes bodybuilding shows and he likes the male aesthetics, yeah, yeah, right. And I believe he should come on the show, yeah, yeah, and let all those that are talking about him know how he feels about it yeah and if he if he if he doesn't want to do that yeah well well then people will draw their own conclusions by him refusing the offer yeah right and unfortunately the the, the conclusion will be from the majority of people is well he won't come on because he can't answer or he won't come on because he's guilty yeah yeah right and and that's why I don't hide you understand because did I burn a guy with an iron? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Did I tie up a lot of drug dealers and take the money off them? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Did I sell drugs and make a lot of money? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Do I admit that? Of course I do. Yeah. Should I should I have got more prison than I got? I should actually be locked under the jail and fed water. Yeah, right. But I didn't get caught for that stuff. Yeah. I also done a year in jail for something that I never done. So that's a swinging around about. That, that, that's rounded off for me the way i see things yeah yeah i'm upfront about what i've done yeah yeah right oh the big the, 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 the big one is 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 i was getting my dick sucked in jail i was queer yeah 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 yeah, yeah right they've called me a queer they've called me a rapist they've called me mo every, every every label that they can put on me that's derogatory they've put on put on me I know a lot of bull. I know a lot of bull queers. You know what a bull queer is, don't you? A bull queer is, is a macho queer. Yeah, I know a lot of bull queers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm prison queer, prison, in, especially in America. Yeah, yeah, right, right. I'm so forthright about myself. Yeah, yeah. If I like to fuck men, I'd say I like to fuck men. You understand? Yeah, yeah, right. I like women, bro. Yeah, yeah, right. And it's just another way to have a go at me. It's an, it's just another way. Yeah, right, right to tear me down in, in one way or another. You're right, because there's not a, a man on the... You, you think the, the person that I'd had me gay sex with or done something gay with wouldn't have made a story about it by now. Yeah, yeah. It would be out there. It's like it's like the statements would be out there. It's just to vilify a man's character and attack a man's character. And, and I was fine. My character was fine until I, until I started trying to... Uh, uh, um, um, tackle the issues that I was involved in, which was drugs and violence, and resolve them instead of repeating the cycle. Yeah, right? Because the cycle's broken for my family. Yeah, yeah. I held that child in my hand in 1994. Yeah, looking at it. On the 17th of July, 2017, she passed out at Manchester University at the Lowry, yeah, 2 1 in, man in mechanical engineering. And I had that idea when she was in her mum's belly. Wow. Yeah, yeah. She has broke the cycle for my family. I'm a criminal, my son's a criminal. I was a child with a child, yeah, yeah, right. She ain't no criminal. We've broken the cycle in our family. You understand? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the cycle of criminality, yeah, right. That's my job as a father. Yeah, yeah, right, right. I was I was born into criminality, bro. Yeah, yeah, right, right. I was born into into being like with lads that were robbing houses when I was seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So so that's not an excuse. Yeah, right. That's a statement of fact. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Because there was also lads that lived alongside me. Yeah, yeah, right, right. That never fell by that wayside. I, I lived in the same conditions as me. So I take some responsibility and don't completely bl blame me environments. I don't say it happened to me because I'm black. Because go and fuck yourself. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not playing that card. Yeah, 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 yeah. White guys are getting fucked as much as black guys in this country. You understand? 
ordinary working white fellas are getting fucked the same way as black people are getting fucked. Yeah, 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 yeah right. And it's got nothing to do with race. It's got to do with power the elite. Politicians. Yeah. I think that's, I think we've got enough there, haven't we? All right. So if you're watching this, then, good grief. What a journey. What a powerful podcast. Please let us know uh, in the comments. It, are you going to hear? Oh, sorry. What you, please let us know in the comments what you think about it. All of Stephen's socials are in the description box below this video. So please go over and support what he's doing. You see, uh, he's just radiating positivity and honesty, uh, and and he, everything he's been through just to just to come out now and be so successful mentally, which is the most important thing. And tell young people as well the dangers of getting involved in that lifestyle. You wouldn't just get taxed by someone like Stephen. It's the Albanians showing up at your house these days, taking people's eyeballs out. Stay away from it, kids. Don't get gangsteritis. Work hard. Get your education. Yeah. Yes. So all um, thanks to all the new subscribers. Subscription logo is in the bottom right-hand corner. Huge thank you to people who have donated so we can film in the professional with a studio of our cameraman, James. Very Sound engineer, Joe. Setup you've got. All those links for donations, PayPal, Patreon are in the description box as well. I'll have to give you a hug, big man. Okay. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, brother. Man. Yeah, thank you. That Cheers. was fantastic. Cheers. Are we off? Yeah.